Well, good evening, everybody. <laughs> so you get together and sing for a living, huh? Yeah, that's right. Hey, welcome, everybody. To but i got to listen to them sing when we're up and down the highways, you guys. It's pretty tough. Hi, it's Dan and Lee, and we're in the Devil Dome this afternoon for Red Devil Radio. The young men are going to take the court first, and then the young ladies. We're going to have two great basketball games. The South Umqua Lancers are in town to play this afternoon, and we're looking forward to this evening. We're glad you've joined us. I tell you what, Dan. And it's just going to be awesome. You know, a lot of things have been going on this week. Uh, we saw the fellas come off a great victory uh, against Sayusla uh, just the other night. And then, of course, the girls, that was a tough loss on that one. But I tell you what, yeah. this has just been phenomenal. And it's just been a lot of fun being able to call these games. And, you know, for, uh, City of Coquille is the sponsor of our pregame report. So we thank them as we are live here in the Devil Dome. Yes, we are from the Coaster Coffee broadcast booth. And, well, it's been a while since we've been home. Yeah, we've been on the road putting on some miles. <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, well, all I know is I'm we've, bad. Even, we've even gone to schools we had no business being at. <laughs> <laughs> that we have. We, we have gone to the wrong school. But uh, anyway, a lot of good things going on. Got to thank some of our sponsors before we just get into this really quick. And, you know, uh, keeping us safe on the road. I know we had a nice dry day today. Uh, sunny anyway. But it's getting ready to get a lot of rain in their forecast to maybe even snow next uh, weekend and Ooh. it's going to get a little crazy from what i hear so let's make sure that you stay safe i want to thank uh coquille tire right here in town for keeping us all safe on the roads i know uh, i feel a whole lot better with tires on my truck from them so let's make sure that uh you stay safe with them as well uh coquille supply thanks so much for outfitting us with these amazing uh shirts and jackets of course, Coaster Coffee, as I mentioned, our broadcast booth sponsor, pre and post game, City of Coquille. Let's Rob, thank you so much, as you are the halftime sponsor and the athlete of the game, Amity Schroeder Funeral Service. Jay, thank you. You're amazing, my friend. So as we are looking at the boys coming off a great victory, uh, what, 
you got any stats over there, Dan Forrest? Well, I, I haven't got a whole lot. I got some stats on the on the Lancers, a little bit on the uh, uh, on the Coquille boys, of course. But I want to talk a little bit about the junior varsity game, the Red Devils against the Lancers junior varsity uh the lancers walked away with a great victory here tonight their junior varsity squad uh you would probably think they were varsity players very skilled young men uh the red devils at the end of the first period the score was 10 to 2 with the lancers on top at the end of the second it was 21 to 12 again with the lancers on top 34 to 21 at the end of the third with the lancers leading and the final was 44 to 29. Lancers walked away with the win. It was a good game, and there's still time to come down and see more great basketball. If we can get you guys to come on down to the Devil Dome here at the high school, uh, you'll be glad you did. It's going to be a great evening. Absolutely. You know, we had a little little time anyway to talk to Coach Jake here for the Coquille Boys and said, Jake, what a great victory you guys had. And he says, you know what was great about it? We won, but we won, we won on the road. That's right. And it's like, <laughs> how much better can you get but being on the road and getting a victory? So that was awesome. So uh, league play, they're coming in here, of course, 1-0, and and so we are very excited about that. And the fellas have got a great attitude and looking forward as well. We're going to take a moment here for our national anthem. We're going to ask that you would please join us as well. All right. It is so good to hear our band again, Dan. Yeah, it certainly is. It's been quite a while. They always do a great job with the national anthem. <laughs> and you know, after the other night at the game, uh, uh, every time I hear the national anthem, I think I'll see that little two-year-old fellow oh, standing there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was great. the most precious thing. All right, so we're bringing the Lancers out onto the court, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to introduce them, if I can, the South Umpqua boys, the Lancers. Uh, starting out for them tonight will be a zero, a Zane Wilborn. Number one is Loudon Cole. Number three is Connor Lucere. And number four is Matthew Burnett. Finishing up is number 25. That will be Elijah Earls. And that's the starting lineup for the South Umpqua Lancer. And here come your Coquille Red Devils. Of course, number three, Jericho Jones. Number 11, Peyton Leak. Number 23, we've got Canyon Luckman. Number 24, we have Isaac Felton, and of course, number 25 is Levi Hoyle. We're going to get ready for a little tip-off action here. As, uh, I want to thank everybody also for joining us on the YouTube here. We got uh, the Johnsons have just showed up, and uh, you know they're over there at Myrtle Point uh, Johnson Realty. Talk about a great couple of uh, folks, and talk about doing stuff in the community. They're amazing. Don't tell them, though, because, you know, <laughs> Mr. Johnson don't know it. And the tip-off go to the Lancers. A quick layup already at the low post. It went down no good. Uh, the rebound goes to the Coquille Red Devils. And that was Felton that brought it on down as Jones to bring it across the timeline. Got a feeling it's going to be a fast-pitch game. Absolutely. Leap is over on the left, heavily guarded. Takes a few spins around. Can't bring it inside. Gets it back over to Jones. They want to feed it down below to Felton. As we know, Coquille is an inside club, and so that means they're going to feed it inside down to the paint as much as possible. Although up there, it's like we saw some three-pointers come sure right up did. out of the gate. Yeah, they were quite surprising and very good shot. Hoyle all the way across to Jones. Inside to Felton. 
Felton gets tripped up. They're going to call him on a foul. So that's going to be the first foul that's going to go against South Umpqua. We're going to have Jones inbounding from underneath Coquille Basket. Goes into Luckman. Luckman wants to drive in. Back over to Jones to leap. Leap looks at a three. Decides not to go that way. Here comes Jones. He's going to lay it up over his head. Up and in. No problem there with nothing but net and a quick two points. All right. Lancers take it away. They're bringing it down the front court into the front court as Cole. Top of the key makes a pass down to the wing left and circles around the top of the key. Ball is handed off at the top of the key, then back to the wing on the right. Down in the corner, he comes inside, comes back out, heavily guarded by Coquille. That is uh, Loudon Cole with the ball for the Lancers right now. Looks at a three-pointer, can't make it. Pass to the uh, top of the key, onto the paint, and the shot goes up. No good. That was Matthew Burnett. Red Devil ball. Well, you know, down there in the paint, you got to see Luckman and Felton together both uh, mixing things up. But right there, Luckman's going to get caught on a travel. That's one of the things that we've seen a lot, actually, with Coquille is they are just want to get going so quick. Yeah. They take that extra step, unfortunately, and then they get caught on that travel. So we have the Lancers there inbound and into their front court. And driving makes a shot down to the corner. Three-pointer goes up and no good. Fighting for the rebound. They get the rebound. Lancer ball goes up. No good. And the officials have decided a jump ball, and the ball will be headed out into uh, Red Devil possession. Actually, I think they called a foul right there on number three. Oh, you're right, Lee. Yeah, they racked another foul up there. I didn't, didn't catch it. Full court press from South Umqua. Hoyle over to Leap as he crosses the timeline. Hoyle with the drive coming inside, feeds Felton up and good for two. Surprised he didn't get a foul on that one. He got slapped on the way through. Yeah. Well, there's the Lancers into the front court. Again, that is Cole carrying the ball for the club tonight. And he makes it all the way down, finds an open lane, puts a shot up. No good. Tokyo ball. So Leap's going to go ahead and bring that on down court. And a nice little block there by Le uh, Luckman. Excuse me. Passes over the head of Jones, just can't handle it. Be a turnover. Earls inbounding the ball to Cole for the Lancers. And to the front court. Moves off to the left-hand side. Drives inside. A quick pass to the elbow on the left. Cross court to the wing. Finds the lane open. Comes in for the shot. And denied by Coquille. They get their rebound. Three-point shot goes up from the corner. And into Leap's hands, Coquille ball. So as Coquille Red Devils bring it across that timeline, you see Jones is going to feed Hoyle all the way across to Luckman back up top. You see Jones trying to get it something down below. Here's Leap on a 20-footer, but it's long, no good. Hoyle from nowhere <laughs> comes in on the rebound off the glass. A quick two points. That is a man with his eye on the ball. And the Lancers bring it into their front court toward the top of the key. Signals his players to set up a play. Makes a quick pass and a layup. It's no good. And a foul is called. And that's going to go against South Umpqua. You know, Luckman doing a really fine job down there in the paint defensively. He is. Just go ahead. He gets in the position. He stands his ground. Cause that shot to actually be missed. So, again, uh, Coquille doing very well on their defense early in the game here. Jones just splits him. Wyatt open on Luckman underneath off the glass. Good for another two. Coquille up eight to nothing with 420 here in the first left. As the Lancers bring it into the front court, he moves off to the right hand side on the right wing, looks for a pick, drives inside, a quick pass to the lane line on the left. He gets downtown and puts the shot up. It's no good. Going to be a jump ball with Felton grabbing hold of that, and it's going to be possession of. Coquille Red Devils. I want to thank you all for tuning in to the YouTube channel here that are on today. Luckman with the shot. A little firm. And rebound to the Lancers. Back to Cole. Over the timeline and down the right-hand side. 
from the foul line. He puts one up for two. No good. And out of bounds at the baseline will be a Coquille ball. And those of you that might be listening and saying, Lee, what are you talking about YouTube? If you go to YouTube, not YouTube TV, but YouTube, and then you push in on the search, it's C D S Coquille, or CSD, excuse me, Coquille okay. School District. Okay. CSD, and then the number eight, it'll bring you right to the game they're doing tonight. Beautiful drive on the inside paint. Leap just putting it up for two. We're going to have a timeout called by South Umpqua. Ten to nothing, Coquille. But, yeah, as I mentioned, it's a great way to go ahead and watch the ball game. And uh, if you go there, again, it's CSD and the number eight. And uh, you might need to go to events or something. But you'll even see the game prior, which was the JV game, because Sunday's here for that. So any home games that we're doing, uh, which will be here for all of them. Uh, Sonny's going to be here, and he'll be putting them on that YouTube channel. And that way it gives you the opportunity, you know, to, to see the game uh, live. And we'll be there doing the voicing of it. So as we broadcast on the radio, it does come across for the TV, which we have to kind of get used to because when we're away, we're painting the picture. Right. And uh, this way you're able to see it as well. So if you think that, gosh, you got to describe everything they're doing, yes. <laughs> because there's some people that are actually uh, listening and not watching at the same time. So, so timeout's been called. Our players coming back out onto the court. And there's the signal. The officials are calling them out. Let's play ball. It'll be a Lancer ball from their backcourt baseline. It'll be inbound and to Cole's hands, and he comes through the backcourt unopposed over the center court line and into the front court. Things pick up the pace. He moves off to the right-hand side. On the wing, pick a set for him as he drives inside. Tries to put the ball up. They get the rebound. It's a Lancer rebound. Uh, and we're calling a foul. That one's going to go against Leap for Coquille. So Three, that, okay. First one for Coquille. And the ball is inbound. Three-point shot from the corner. Way too strong, but to get the rebound, put one up 4-2. Coquille ball, 10-2, Coquille. So we're going to have Jones crossing that timeline. Going to feed Felton. He's going to spin. Can't get anywhere. Good defense down in the paint by South Elmqua. Here comes Hoyle. He's going to drive in, but the shot gets rejected. And the rebound goes to the Lancers. Yeah, Hoyle's going to get caught on a pushing. And that'll be two fouls against the Coquille ball. <laughs> They're going to inbound the ball right in front of their bench, the Lancers. And again, that's Earl's inbounding to Cole. Over the timeline, into the front court. Trying to set up a play. Having a screen set for him. A quick pass off to the wing extended on the right. Circling around, trying to get to the low post. Pass goes out. It's deflected by Leap. Comes back in. Lancer ball slapped away. Slapped out of bounds by Coquille. Good defense by the Red Devils to continue to try to be breaking some things up. Earl's inbounding the ball once again to Cole. On the wing, left-hand side. He drives down into the corner. A bounce pass is picked up by Coquille. Nice. Nope. Stolen again by the Lancers, and a quick layup puts two on the board for the Lancers. 10 to 4, Coquille, Coquille ball. Jones bringing across that timeline. You got. That was moving it up, trying to find something that's inside. Leap's going to spin back and forth. Got to get it back out to Hoyle. Got to find Luckman coming around the top of the key. He wants to drive to the right. He does. Off the glass is strong. And they're going to call a. But look, the foul is going to be a blocking foul that's going to go against South Elmqua. I hesitated because originally the sign was that it was a charging. Yeah. And then it turned into a blocking. So that will put Luckman to the line shooting, too. We got a minute 46 here left in the first. Four team fouls for South Elmqua, two for Coquille. Luckman oh. shot goes up and around and then Holy drops. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 11 to 4. Coquille's had a tough time from the line uh, so far they this have, year. They have. The last few games have really been tough from the line. And that hits the back of the rim. We've seen a lot of that where they just don't draw. A little too strong. 
And Lancer's in possession of the ball. Again, there's Cole bringing it down the front court. Moves off to the right-hand side. Trying to set up a play. Drives inside the low post. Puts one up for two. It's 11-6. to six. Coquille on top. Coquille ball. Well, that's, you know, six relatively quick points that yeah, Coquille sure. has given up. The pass is intended for Johnson. Stolen and away. Right into the hands of the Lancers. Taking it downtown. A foul will take it to the line as well. And that's going to go against South Umqua. Um, yeah, how about that? I'm going to say a little bit of a elbow, arm, forearm push there. So five fouls. That's five fouls. He should have been to the line. Five fouls. He should have been going to the line with five fouls. They missed it. Yeah, that was overlooked. Everybody missed it. They're going to give and go to Felton underneath. He gets slammed. And the Lancers steal away the ball. Head into the front court. Again, that's Cole. Driving forward, a pass to the back. Comes to the low post and puts it up for two. And they are there. closing the gap on Coquille. Yeah, and there's nothing they can do about that. Uh, should have been at the free throw line. It's a little late now. Leap is trying to spin it around. Brought down by South Elmfall. And Lancers bringing it over the timeline. Long pass down into the corner. Bounce pass to the low post. It goes up and good. It's a one-point ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Tokyo ball. First period winding down. Johnson gets possession of it. Finds Luckman over to Leap. Leap's looking at that basket like he might take a three. He's at the top. No, he's going to feed Johnson. Back to Leap. Leap's going to drive in on that left side. Up off the glass. Good for two. And Lancers with the ball. But that's the end of the first period, ladies and gentlemen. With the score, Coquille Red Devils, 13. And the South Umpqua Lancers at 10. Well, and you know, I, I kind of harped on it for a minute. But, yeah, with five team fouls for South Umpqua, he should have been going to the line. But I'll tell you what, it was good to see a clean first half, or first period, rather, by the Red Devils. Because as we saw lately, they've been running six, seven team fouls uh, pretty much every, every period. And so that was uh, a lot cleaner, although they did miss some shots. And my golly, I tell you what, those 10 points added up awfully quick for South Umpqua. Yeah, they ran up on them quick. Yes, sir. Well, Coquille was quick to get the 10 on the board. The rest of the period was dominated by the Lancers. Absolutely it was. So, you know, when you're looking at that, obviously South Umqua, I mean, they're a good ball club. Absolutely. And so, uh, which is why we're talking in our City Coquille pregame report about being so excited about this game. First of all, we're back home, and it's been a while. Uh, and the other thing is, is that it's our second league game, and these guys are matched up really, really well. They certainly are. <laughs> Yeah, if you look at the OSAA stats, these these two teams are pretty much running even, Stephen. Yeah, so we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see the South Elmqua with possession starting the second. As we mentioned, thirteen to ten, Red Devils up by three. We're gonna have a timeout here by the official real quick. They had an. They had an extra player on the court just before the ball came into play. So <laughs> the officials are saying, all right, come on. You can't sneak that guy on there. There is no sixth man out here. <laughs> got, well, got two of the best officials out that you can have on the court right yeah, now. You're not going to get anything by these two guys. <laughs> They're just not great, uh, great gentlemen. They're, they're very, very good officials. Absolutely. So we have the Lancers in possession of the ball out there in their front court. Quick steal by Coquille puts the ball in motion. So here comes Jones down on the left side. He got it up to Johnson, back over to Jones. Johnson almost stolen away from Jones. He gets over the leap on a three-point shot. It's up, and it's around the rim. No good. And the rebound picked up by the Lancers, but it's bounced out of bounds at the baseline. Great job by Johnson down there <laughs> to be able to stay in there, mix some things up, and go out of bounds. Off the South Umqua. Comes into Leap. Leap looks at a 10-footer. Nowhere to go. Tried to get it into Luckman. 
as it got intercepted. And a Lancer steal brings it down into their front court. There's Cole driving forward. I heard a whistle from the official. Let's see what's going on here. It's going to be a, a uh, pushing foul. Yeah, it's going to be a pushing foul, and that's going to go against Johnson. So that'll put the Lancers on their baseline, inbounding. Ball's in the corner, right-hand side. Quick bounce, brings it back out. Cross court to the left-hand wing. Drives from the elbow. The shot goes up. It's no good. And Coquille takes it away. Nope, quick steal by the Lancers. Brings the ball back into their court. On the wing, extended, right-hand side. Drives inside. Steps outside the key for a three-pointer. Can't make the shot. About lost control of the ball. Hand off to Cole. Cole setting up a play. He drives inside. Hits the paint in the lane line. Bounce pass brings it back out. Cole with a three-pointer. Goes up no good. Coquille with the rebound. 624 left in the half. Well, Lee brought that down for the Red Devils. He's going to feed it over to Jones, our ball handler. Finds Johnson on the right. Going to give a go. No, he just couldn't get it inside fast enough. Leap's going to take a 20-footer. It's no good. So Keel fighting for the rebound goes off the hands of Johnson. Hoyle is going to come in, give Luckman a breather. You know, I keep asking Luckman about that ankle, just to kind of you know stay on top of things. He rolled it really yeah, good. Yeah, he did. But uh, he's a he's a tough young man, and he says, you know what? It's all good. <laughs> yeah, boy, I wish I still healed like that. <laughs> Lancer's in control of the ball. He went up for a shot. Going to draw a foul. Now nah, is it going to be a jump ball? I think Hoyle. Yeah, jump oh, ball. Good call, Lee. Hoyle was all over that. So possession, obviously, in the hands of Coquille. So we're going to have Jones bring it across the timeline. You got Johnson on the left, or excuse me, the right. Here comes Jones trying to go in, couldn't get to it, got heavily guarded. Finds Johnson and gets tripped up. So that'll be a foul against South Umpqua. As the Red Devils will inbound it just about in front of the South Umpqua bench. Inbound to leap the hard way. Bounce pass over to Hoyle. Lost possession of it. Picks it up with another jump ball they're going to call. Called that one a little quick, I think, but still, yeah. you know. So the Lancers will be inbounding from the sideline opposite the Coastal Coffee broadcast booth. And it's inbound. Carrying the ball is Loudon Cole for the club tonight. He drives inside. Quick handoff. From the elbow, the shot goes up, and it's good. Two points. One-point ball game now. Coquille with the ball. So you have Jones with our ball handler. You got Leap on the left, Johnson on the left. Harl on the right. You got Felton down underneath. Johnson's trying to put a move on him. Kicks it back out to Leap. He wants to come in, gets tripped up, gets it back out top. Great recovery by Leap as yeah, he was hitting the deck. That was awesome. <laughs> Got another bounce pass that goes into Leap. Well, it's going to end up in the hands of Coquille. Coquille's going to call the timeout. I was really surprised with that, that pass that was put inside because, I mean, he had a shot if he wanted to take it, but even if they want to feed it inside, which is their game, which is fine. But, heck, you got two guys that are basically in the hip pocket of Leap on both sides. That's a, that's a dangerous pass is what I'm getting at here. Oh, you know, I found another business today. I got to just quick shout out. I was down there. I saw Cassie. She owns Confessions, the uh, hair salon. She does for families and all that, right? But come to find out, she is very, very much involved in the community. I never knew this till today. She um, supports and she sponsors, you know, the seniors, like pretty much every other business town. But today I found out that she was actually working on Santa Claus's beard that was a Santa Claus for Coquille this year. She did the dye and the whole nine yards at that. How cool is that? I'm really having trouble believing that, Lee, because I know Santa lives on the North Pole and he's got a big white beard. <laughs> well, he, he, he was filling in. He was filling in. That's great stuff. He was helping out. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's good stuff. Outstanding. Yeah, somebody got to hook Santa up. 
Uh, I heard that at that. How cool is that? That's way cool. That's Mr. Leon Brown, who's playing Santa, and I got to hear that story. I said, you know, that's an awesome community uh, little bit of info. You betcha. Bounce past to Hoyle. He's trying to make it something happen. It gets rejected, but it's fouled in the process. Triple team down there at the low post. They got their eyes on him. But anyway, yeah, I just thought, how cool is that? She goes, oh, yeah, we hooked him. We, we hooked him up. Well, Leon plays Santa Claus in Coquille and Myrtle Point. That's so much fun. And uh, great guy. He really is. Been around forever. Felton's shot is up and good. But, yeah, she goes, oh, yeah, we went ahead and put all this stuff in his beard and dyed oh, him all up. And, how cool. <laughs> and I just, I just had to chuckle. Felton, the second shot is up, hits the back of the rim, comes out no good. Lancers with the rebound. Quick pass out there to Cole. He'll bring it over the timeline, down into the front court. Hits the top of the key, the foul line, looks around someplace to go with that ball. It's heavily guarded on the inside. Quick steal by Coquille, puts him out of business. I tell you what, Hoyle is everywhere on this court. As Johnson brings it across the timeline. And Jones rather gets it to Johnson. Up to the top, you got Hoy, Hoyle, excuse me, feeds to Leap. Leap's coming in. He wants to take a shot, and he does, and it should be good. I'm not getting anything from the official here, unless I missed it. But anyway, yep, there it is. So the shot is good, 16 to 12. He's going to go to the foul line. He's going to be shooting one. I just love watching Leap inside like that. He spins left. He goes right. He's almost like riding a bull. Yeah, I tell you what. <laughs> see if you can make it eight seconds. That's right. And it's good. 17 to 12. Coquille up by five. 346 left in the half as the Lancers bring it into their front court. Pass off to the wing and a quick handoff and back out to the uh, top of the key extended. Quick handoff. Brings it all the way inside, puts it up, and it's good. Coquille ball. Lancers at 14. Luckman, Felton. Hoyle, Leap, Jones. It's on the court for Coquille. Long pass down, as you saw. Goes out of bounds. And Lancers over the timeline into the front court. Hand off on the wing, right hand side. And a pass to the low post. And that's going to be a cold kill ball. Great job down below by Leap to break things up again. Then, of course, you had Hoyle right there. But Leap is the one that caused all the trouble over there. I was told by uh, by our coach tonight when I was speaking with him, Loudon Cole, who's carrying the ball for the uh, Lancers tonight. He's actually a four-point student. Wow. Yeah. yeah, That's he's, amazing. He's at the top of his game. So Coquille is just, in a way, having a tough time with this defense. Oh, there's a beautiful give-and-go from Luckman to Hoyle. Here comes Felton down the paint. And the Lancers. Bringing it back, Coquille trying to maintain that five-point lead. Lancers in their front court. Bringing it back and forth from the line. There's a charging. Boy, I'll tell you what, Leap is tough as a pine knot. Yes. I, mean, I, I heard him hear that hit, hit the deck. Boy, he bounced back up like a spring. You guys would have to call me an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, you call more than just one, too. Oh, man. <laughs> they'd have to do Holy all kinds smoke. of stuff. They'd, they'd be getting super glue out for the putting the bones back together. <laughs> Good screen by Leap as he's trying to bring it down the left, takes another spin, went to put it up, and the ball stripped away. Man, it's loose, picked up by the Lancers. Cole bringing it all the way down, a quick handoff. And a spin from the left lane line. It puts up and it's good for two. Three-point ball game now, 19-16. Coquille on top with two minutes left in the half. Tell you what, for him to slide through Coquille, those two defenders like that was phenomenal. Here's Leap from the free throw line. Hits it back to the rim. No good. 
Luckman fighting for the rebound, can't get to it, and his body's going to go over the top of him. They gets an elbow. Uh, we're going to have uh, the elbow was not necessary. And the officials are going to talk to both of them right now and put a squash to this. I can guarantee it. So the officials are going to let both of these young men know, hey, there you go, a little handshake there. Yeah, you know what? He's an awesome referee. Yes, I just is. love that guy. Yeah, I have, I've had the opportunity to, to see him and visit with him off the court, and quite the gentleman that he is. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a logger. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, he, yeah he's been logging That's for a while. That's why he's in such wonderful yeah, shape. <laughs> he's been logging for a while. No, he's in wonderful shape because he probably does 100-plus basketball games a season. A season, yeah. And so we've got Earls Hill pass the ball in, and it's uh, picked up by Trace Easterbrook. Tokyo ball. Oh, that was so close. Hoyle almost had it back in. Great job he did by trying to save that. Lancers in their front court. Almost had the ball slapped away from him from the wing. Nice. Three shot went up. Rejected up by, by Hoyle. We're going to have Leap bring it on down. Coming to the right side. Pulling up Hoyle up into the middle. Wants to get down to Leap on a three-point shot. It's up, but it's short. Picked up by Luckman on the shot, and it's good. Up off the glass. He makes it. Not a boy, Luckman. <laughs> Great follow-up. <laughs> he's going to be at the line shooting one. Man. One minute, four seconds left in the half. We've got Luckman on the foul line for Coquille. Back of the rim once again. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to have a jump ball. And it's going to be in the hands of South Elmcaw. Great job by Felton hitting those boards. That's one of the things, you know, we were talking about when we were there at uh, Sayusla, how they really had to start hitting the boards, and they did a good job doing that. You bet. So the Lancers have the ball in their front court. And a handoff down onto the paint. The drive forward can't make the shot. They try and get one out, but it gets slapped away by Coquille. And a steal. Leap just stole that right out of his hands pretty much. As Jones is going to bring it across the timeline. you got Luckman on the left. It's going in that direction to Leap on the right. They were looking to try to get it into Felton. Felton's got to come back up to break the bottom open. There comes Felton. He's looking around. Goes to Hoyle. Bounce pass. Bounce pass to Felton. That was beautiful, but unfortunately, the, the shot was no good. And they're going to call a foul against Hoyle. That's his second one tonight. We got five team fouls against South Elmqua. Three for Coquille. And the Lancers bring it on in. 15 seconds on the clock. Better hustle it up and get into the front court. Trying to get a play together. Coquille wreaking havoc, slapping the ball away. And a quick rebound. Three-point shot goes up, and it's good. Wow. Wow. 21 to 19 at the end of the half. Well, and as we take a look at this first half, your report is brought to you by Les Schwab Tire Center. I want to say thank you so much to them for this. Uh, man, <laughs> talk about a back-and-forth ball game so far. In the first, of course, it was 13-10. to 10. Coquille was only up by three points. Then coming into the second, South Umpqua was able to put eight points on the board. And then you saw eight points also for Coquille. So, very, very evenly matched. Of course, with that three-pointer almost at the buzzer there, made a little bit of a difference, too. Absolutely, but, man. What a great <laughs> what a great period right there. That was <laughs> back and forth, a whole lot going on. Our friends at that Les Rob Tire Run will remind you that winter driving conditions are upon us. Keep that in mind. Yeah, we're... Uh, we had a great, great first half. Uh, again, the Red Devils at the end of the first 13, they were up by three, and uh, they've ma maintained that three-point lead, uh, 18 to 21 through the second period. I got to tell you, I don't, I, I, I just don't know how 
a couple of these South Umpqua fellas have been able to drive down inside. And what I mean by that is when you've got Leap, you got Felton, and you got Luckman all down below there, I don't have a clue. But they've been able to do it. Yep, they sure have. Uh, you know, they're able to slide in there. Now, they're playing South Emcall playing very, very good defense that um, Coquille is having a tough time getting the ball down inside, primarily to Felton, but also to Leap, too. So uh, we're seeing Leap having to come up a little higher, but then we're also seeing uh, Felton coming up as well. But what's been really great about that, when you think, well, we don't have nobody down below, all of a sudden, Luckman slides through the key. Out of nowhere, yeah. And that's the thing. Luckman is awesome at keeping his eye on the ball and, and positioning himself where he can get, uh, you know, in the right place at the right time. He's he's uh, he's a good basketball player, but uh, he's a very strategic basketball player. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, it's, it's really a lot of fun. You know, Hoyle's had a good first uh first half as well and so uh, that's that's what makes it so vitally important when you're basically in in the paint and uh you know inside like that then uh it helps to be able to uh draw everything in so uh you know you got to come outside so you're pretty well forced to do that just to open up that uh Open up down below. What are you watching over there, Dan? I'm watching Coach with the two little guys in the race car. <laughs> That's Willie down there. <laughs> Willie was. I basketball. wonder if those are his grandkids. It could be. No. I don't know. He's having as much fun as they are. Willie was a coach for a long time. It's just one of those things that when you're coached for a while, you always carry that title as coach. I know. I still call him, you know, coach. I, I, I still mean, call him coach. You know, I coached golf here for a while a number of years ago, and there's still some of the kids, hey, coach, how's it going, you know? And it's kind of a fun thing to get recognition for, to be honest with you. You but bet. Actually it, was it, it's really a show of respect. Yeah, that too. If I ran into my old coach today, I'd call him coach. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, it's just like everybody that we have here. We know their names. Yeah. But we call them coach. That's right. It's just, it's just what yeah, it they, is. They earned it. Yes, absolutely. By the way, I was over there at Coquille Supply early today and Willie came on by and we were shooting the breeze a little bit and of course got to talk with uh with Mike and and uh you know just a lot of cool things that just hanging out you know just being able to go over and say hello and Wendy of course was there so you know both brothers and the sister in the house and so uh we were chatting a little bit and uh I guess they're already figuring out uh, what they're doing next year for the pumpkin patch for the community. But, wow. But then also, I asked them, I said, well, is Santa coming again this year? And they, she said, well, I sure hope so, you know. If we get them to the salon on yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a, that, that's a whole different Santa Claus oh, right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a different Santa Claus at Coquille Supply. He, from what I understand, he don't need no stinking bleach. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Just kidding around, but, yeah, it's a different Santa Claus there. But, oh, yeah. They've been doing that for uh, six, seven years now. Well, I mean, when you think about the community response, I mean, uh, in June, people will still be talking about it. It's oh, yeah. just a whole lot of fun. It gets the community together. Um, and, uh, you know, that's what living in Southern Oregon is all about, man. We, we have such wonderful communities and people right. around here. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Well, I was saying we should have Santa on a Harley. Yeah, we should. So uh, I'm going to bring that to the table again for next year. There I'll. I'll <clears throat> I'll loan Santa my Harley. <laughs> Will you? Oh, yeah. That's, that's that's huge because not many people let anybody. I guess you would have to have, like, Santa Claus status to ride somebody else's Harley. Well, you know, I, I, I've got it in with the guy. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> He's brought you so much coal you could fire a uh, steam engine. <laughs> I can go a lot further than them electric vehicles. That's it. Hey, a little information on South Umqua. Right now in league, they are 2-0. and Overall, they're 4-3. and three. They've, uh, they've scored 372 points, but they've allowed 362 points to be scored against them. They have an OSAA ranking at 34, and that's a little, uh, little catch-up with the, uh, the South Umqua Lancers. 
if we talk about the Kokio Red Devils in league, they are one and zero. They won their first league game. We were so happy for them. Overall, they're four and seven. Now they've scored four hundred and forty-one points. Unfortunately, they've allowed six hundred and nineteen points to be scored against them, and they have an OSAA ranking at thirty-one. And that's a little information on our Kokio Red Devils. Yes, and I tell you what, we were talking uh, actually I, uh, just the other night on the way home from uh, Sayushla that, you know, the boys off to a little bit of a slow start. Yeah. But you have to look at the reasons why. First of all, a young ball club, first of all. Um, you know, that they've had some transitioning, uh, but, you know, we're, we're seeing a good outlook. We're seeing good attitudes. We're seeing these kids coming along really, really well already. Talking to Coach Jake, you know, uh, he's even made the comment and compliment to these young men that, you know, he says, well, you know, I, I figured it'd take a little bit for us to kind of all come together and start gelling. He says, to be honest with you, I'm really kind of surprised things are going as well as they are so quickly. And uh, but he, he compliments the, the, the kids. I and, you know, me, I, I joke around a little bit. And I said, well, look at their coach, for goodness sake. That's right. And, you know, he smiles and he says, but you know what? Every one of these fellas that are on the court are just great, great boys. And and uh, I thought, you know, what a compliment to the fellas that he's coaching you know absolutely yeah and um i know for us it's you know i have that opportunity i had the chance to meet with uh, uh denise uh who is at the district office and uh was talking with her today and uh was letting her know how things are going with the sports and everything and they're just the district is so so excited about having all of this and and uh, it is quite a compliment to you and I, as uh, you bet, they were saying that. You the know. privilege is ours. Oh, absolutely it absolutely. is. Yeah, I mean, you know, with, without a doubt. So it's, um, it's all good. Hey, Cynthia. Cynthia. She, she's not trying to look at you, boss. <laughs> I want you to put those on. You're, you're, you're very fortunate. Do you know how to do this? No, she says, Lee, what are you doing? You'll only have a two-minute interview, so you're lucky. He, he, he tries to get people at the beginning of the halftime. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you are on the air. But anyway, uh, of course, Cynthia Johnson, uh, she uh, has business out there, really the business in Myrtle Point, longstanding. Congratulations for that. But you do a ton in the community, and I'm very, very much aware of that. You, you're part of sports. You're part of uh, just the graduation. You're part of St. Jude. You're part of, I think, whatever it is you could possibly be a part of. Now, you've been showing up for these basketball games. What the heck is going on? Talk to us. I have a granddaughter who plays on JV and varsity. All right. And now, I know who it is, but why don't you tell everybody who it is? Oakley Johnson. Oakley Johnson. Oakley Johnson. <laughs> I tell you what. She is. Um, she plays some pretty darn good ball. She's working on it. <laughs> yeah, she does really good. I just wanted to just take a minute because we got to get back into it. What is it like being a grandparent? And watching your granddaughter going through everything she's doing, you know, a good game, maybe a not so good game. How do you deal with all of that? Well, she's just really, she's good. She handles it well. I'm just so proud of her. We just love to watch her play. And when she has a bad game, which is, she's pretty good, so we don't have to do anything. <laughs> you know, she's a powerhouse. All four foot eight of her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We like it. Yeah, you we're bet. having a great time watching her. That's awesome. Fantastic. You keeping Mr. Johnson in line? I'm trying. That's a, that, that's, that's a tall table right there. It is. It's all glass of water. Yeah. <laughs> Full time. <laughs> well, I'm going to let you get going. We're going to start the third period. Thanks so much for tuning in with us. Thank you very much. All right. Nice to see you. Yeah, my pleasure. So that's Cynthia Johnson with Johnson Realtor over there doing all kinds of cool stuff. And you know what's really neat? It's just not in Myrtle Point, but she's also very, very active here in Keel. Outstanding. Very nice to meet her. Lancer ball is up for a three-point shot at the beginning of the third period. As they've come onto the court, no good. Coquille ball. Great pass back and forth. A little behind Luckman. He's putting it up anyway, and it's good. Oh, my gosh. Coquille's coming out just on fire. You betcha they are. Lancer ball bringing it over the timeline. That is Cole. And a quick pass to the wing. He drives inside, tries to get the low post, puts it up, and it's good for two. Beautiful move on the. So Coquille's going to have a little bit of uh, backcourt pressure on him. Leap's going to spin around and just avoid the whole thing. 
Quick pass out to Jones. Almost gets stripped away. Here comes Hoyle. Tried to do that bounce pass to get it inside. Not a good pass. Got taken away. Yeah, taken. Lucier. Long pass down. Picked up by Burnett. Hits the low post. Hits the bucket. Draws a foul. Yeah, they're gonna go. They're gonna call that against Coquille. So that's actually gonna be Felton's first foul. That's gonna also give him two shots at the line. And the first shot is up. A little strong. No good off the glass. And the official signals one more shot. A bounce pass to him on the foul line. A quick setup. Here's the shot for South Umpqua. No good. Front of the rim. And the rebound goes to South Umpqua, though. On the elbow, the ball signals back to the short corner. And a three-point shot goes up. Hits the bucket. No good. Rebound goes back to South Umpqua. Ball hits the lane line on the paint. He spins, goes to put it up. Ah, no good. Again, the rebound belongs to South Umpqua. Slapped away, but he's going to draw a foul for doing it. they got to call that one on leave, too. They're going to say he came over the back. I just got to give him two shots also. That's too bad because there was that, nothing but ball, it looked like. But, you know, when you're doing that, your body just kind of carries you at the same time. That's right. Matthew Burnett on the foul line. And the shot's up. No good. One more shot for South Umpqua. Tokyo with a five-point lead. Here's the shot for the Lancers. Ball's up. That is good. Tokyo with a four-point lead now as they bring the ball into their backcourt. So a little bit of backcourt pressure. We're seeing the ball now get stripped away, and now there's going to be a foul. That's going to go against Jones. So, Coquille wow. is getting uh, hammered on the defense and right in, now. Into foul trouble real mm -hmm. quick. Yeah, I already got three. So, the Lancers bring the ball on board there in the front court. And that is Earls. Back to Burnett. He puts it up for two. No good. Rebound is saved and goes to Coquille. Right in the hands of Hoyle. As Jones brings it down, going to get a screen from Luckman. Luckman's on the top of the key, looking to join down below to move things around. It goes on the left wing. Hoyle on the right. Opens it up for Hoyle to come on down. Finds Leap over on the left-hand side as he has to bring it back up on top. Kind of start trying to get some things moving again so he gets something open down below. Pass intended for Felton, but stripped away. And Burnett taking it all the way downtown for the layup. No good. Rebound, Coquille. Good job by Felton hitting those boards. There was a cluster down in that. Sure was. Paint there. We'll see what Coquille can try to put back together. As we got a double slot pass over to Felton. There it is off the glass. It's finally a good there. 27 to 21 as the Lancers bring it into their front court. Coquille on top of the scoreboard. Off to the left-hand side of the court. A quick handoff to Burnett, then at the top of the key. Back to Burnett on the wing. A bounce pass down below, and the shot goes up. He hits it, and that'll take him to the line for two shots. 23, 27 to 23, Coquille on top. And Zane Wilborn, who was told... I was told by the coach that Zane might graduate early. He's another outstanding student on the campus there. He's on the foul line for two shots. South Umqua Lancers. That was, that was foul was on leap. That's his third one for Coquille also, by the way. Oh, boy. Brought down by the Red Devils. Heavenly Garden gets it across to Luckman as they cross that timeline. You know, if, Hoyle comes around the top. He's going to drive on into the left. Bounce pass to Felton. He comes off the glass. Good for two. 29 to 23 as the Lancers inbound the ball from their baseline. And Coyle bring it over the timeline into the front court. Quick pass. Brings it down. Finds Lucier. Then Burnett. Bounce pass to him. Went, went south. And now 
Timeout called by Coquille as Coquille was actually able, I think it was Hoyle at the end there, to uh, be able to hold on to that ball. Yeah, that was, was Hoyle. It was going to be, it was <laughs> going to be a travel at any second. I mean, literally a second away from a travel. I'm surprised they, I'm surprised they didn't call a travel just prior. But there's another reason why Coach uh, Jake calls that timeout, or else we would have lost possession of the ball. Absolutely. Very, very physical game here this evening. And, you know, we kind of had a mindset that it would only because these guys are matched up, both squads, extremely well. Coquille has a very slight height advantage, but that's only in the in, in the paint, if you will. When we say in the paint, that's down right at, in the key or in, in the center below the basket, for those of you that might not be aware. But, you know, something that Coquille is doing, too, and it's I don't, I don't think anybody's really going to be able to stop it as long as the right pass is there. You've got Felton and you've got Leap crossing down below back and forth. And they're trying to feed one or the other. And all you got to right. do is have that bounce pass. But these guys are working really hard to do. Yeah, you're going to get some stolen away like we have seen tonight. But I tell you what, you get that pass going in there, it's going to be unstoppable. It is. It's smooth when it when it, when it works. It's, when they come into it, it's really smooth. So here's that full court press again. Kokia works right on through it. You see Jones take it all the way, and he gets fouled in the process. That will put him to the line shooting, too. Four minutes left in the third period, 29 to 23, Coquille on top. And, you know, we've seen that a lot, too. When you've got these fellas that come on down, we've seen Jones do it. We've seen Luckman do it quite often. They're just ripping right down through there yep. on that layup. They're getting fouled, I'd have to say, 98% of the time. And so it puts him right to the line and then also ends up putting the other team in foul trouble. In foul trouble, yeah. Coquille's got four. Jones missed that first one to the left. That one sits the back of the rim no good. Almost got brought down by Felton. Then it goes off Felton's hand as he tries to grab that rebound. So the Lancers will be taking the ball, inbounding from the baseline in their backcourt. And the ball is inbound and taken. Loudon Cole will carry it. Over the center court line into the front court. Slows things down at the top of the key, then moves on, makes a pass down, down into the paint, brings it up and spins. The shot goes up. It's no good. Burnett with the rebound. He puts it up. Is defected by Coquille. Yeah, it's going to end up being South Emqua ball. So they'll um, uh, they'll inbound. Ball's in the corner, comes inside. He drives forward for the layup, and it's good for two. That's Coquille inbounds the ball. Good play by South Umpqua to go ahead and run that right on through. So they're going to work hard to go ahead and get that ball taken. But there's Luckman. Great that was pass. through the silk right there. Got a pass from Jones <laughs> to Luck. Down to Felton to Jones. Luckman, good for two. And Lancers in their front court. A bounce pass to Burnett at the top of the key. He drives inside. Play is stopped by the officials. I'm looking for a call. Well, I'm not quite Got sure. A pushing foul out there from on someone. And now the Red Devils are in trouble with five fouls. 31 to 25, three minutes left in the period. I haven't seen this gentleman before as, a, as an official. I haven't either. He calls him really tight, though. I know that. So Zane Wilborn on the line for the Lancers. First shot was up and no good. There's the uh, ball back from the official. Here's the second shot for South Umpqua. And it's good. Tokyo with a five-point lead at 31 as they bring the ball in. So we're going to see that full-court press once again. So they double team the ball. Luckman's just going to rip right through him. Long pass to Hoyle, and it's going to get he's going to get fouled in the process. He had to go up high, like his football days right there. Yeah. Bring that down. Gets fouled in the process. There's an inbound pass all the way to Luckman. Three point shot. It's up. Is it there? No. It hits the back of the rim. Brought down by Coquille, and the shot's too strong. As it goes out of bounds off the hands of Coquille underneath. That'll be a Lancer ball, and they'll be inbounding the ball from the sideline in their backcourt. Inbound again, uh, Cole carrying the ball for the club tonight over the timeline and moves off to the left-hand side. 
a bounce pass down onto the paint and a quick layup. No good, but Burnett with the uh, rebound for the Lancers. Three seconds in the key. Great defense by Coquille to just pretty much hover right over the top of them to cause that time violation of three points. You just can't stand in the key like that when you're on the offense. That's right. Long pass down. Luckman to Felton. Felton hooks it up, and it's good as he's fouled. 222 left in the third. Tell you what, that's some great eye coordination right there with yeah. these fellas are doing this. That was a nice play. Well, and they're breaking that, that backcourt pressure by getting right darn close to that halfway point, getting the pass down, and then breaking down underneath. Front of the rim, no good. Brought down by Hoyle. He steps out of bounds. Or is it going to be a foul? I don't understand. I'm thinking he stepped out of bounds for the turnover. Oh, well, they got Coquille back on the baseline. So number four, I don't know the gentleman's name, number four for South Umqua, evidently. That's uh, Matthew Burnett. Okay, well, Burnett got called on the foul from underneath from the rebound, evidently, is what they were talking. So Coquille with possession of it. Long pass in. The guys are getting confused between Luckman and Hoyle. Hoyle had to jump in the air just to grab hold of it and threw it <laughs> off of a South Umpqua ball player. So Yeah, that was good play right there. There's the inbound bounce pass to Jones over to Hoyle on the right-hand side. Jones is trying to pull everybody up so we can get somebody rocking down underneath. Try to drive it inside this Hoyle ball gets stripped away on the pass. Lancers with the steal back to Cole. He'll bring it down, stop at the top of the key. Moves off to the left hand side, a pass back onto the wing. He drives inside. And his play is stopped by the official. He's going to call another foul. And that's four fouls against. Well, it's the second foul that's going to go against Luckman, actually. Uh, so on the foul line is Connor Lucier. Yeah, that's five fouls for Coquille. That puts him to the line. First shot for Umpqua is up and good. 33 to 27. Second shot for South Umpqua. From the foul line, here's the shot. Ball's up, and it's good. 28 to 33. Coquille takes it away. So there's that breaking up of the backcourt pressure. Jones to Johnson. Over to Luckman. And to find Hoyle here on the top of the key. He's going to drive down to the left. Comes off the glass. I don't know how he kept that in his hip pocket, but he did. He sure for did. Two. <laughs> Lancer ball, bringing it into the front court. Top of the key extended, ball moves off to the right-hand side on the wing, quick handoff to Wilborn, then back out on the wing, right-hand side. Hand off to Wilborn again, he steps back for a three-point shot, in and out, no good. Rebound, Coquille. Felton ended up bringing that one down as Luckman's going to bring it down across the timeline. Find Hoyle, he's looking at doing it all over again. It's the rim, no good. Luckman with a great rebound. Goes to put it up and is fouled in the process, so that's going to put Luckman to the line shooting, too. 58 seconds left here in the third. You're looking at a score, 35 for Coquille, 28 for South Umpqua. Both teams have got five fouls aside. So we'll have Luckman get ready for his first shot. It is up. Hits the front of the rim, the back of the rim, and finds a little net. Yeah, a boy, Luckman. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I said, you guys are making an old man feel older. Stop it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Second shot for Coquille. In front of the rim, no good. And the rebound goes to the Lancers. Uh, Luckman wreaking havoc on that one. It's picked back up by Coquille. So that's a steal away. Thank you, Luckman, for doing that. Here comes Jones. Oh, the pass was intended for Johnson. Taking it all the way down and one or more in the bucket. It's 36 to 30 as the third period winds down. Coquille in possession. 
Long pass to Felton. He grabs hold of it to Hoyle. Hoyle looks at a three-pointer. It's up. No good. Brought down by South Umpqua. Lancer Paul be uh, inbound from the sideline. Luckman tried to save it over there. He sure did. As he's hitting the deck and... Twenty seconds here left in the third. Lancers driving it all the way down, coming back up. It's at the top of the key. Pass goes to the low post. It's a steal by Coquille. I tell you what, that was just stolen right out of their hands. Here comes Johnson. He's going to take it up off the glass. Nothing called, and the shot is missed. Lancers taking it all the way downtown. The shot is up. No good. And that's the end of the third period, ladies and gentlemen, with the score of the Coquille Red Devils at 36. The South Umpqua Lancers at 30. Well, you know, South Umpqua actually scored 12 points in that particular period. Had a pretty darn good run at it. Yeah, they did. 15 points for Coquille. So Coquille is still, I won't say dominating the court, but playing extremely well. Yes, absolutely. They're also able to go ahead and break that backcourt pressure up, and they're doing a great job doing it. They got to pass this getting out. As soon as it crosses that timeline, they've for the defense, they've only got about one person back, and that's for South Umpqua. So then they've got Luckman. He's down in below, feeds him, goes back to Feltner Leap. It's in the bucket for another pair. You can see that these guys have, have really been drilling and, and running through drills and practicing these plays. They're getting sharper all the time. I saw some beautiful plays by uh, Tokyo where the, it was just executed. It was just laid out like they had had it, had been working it. it yeah. Just textbook basketball down there. Beautiful work by the Coquille Red Devils. Beginning of the fourth period, ladies and gentlemen, the score once again, Coquille Red Devils at 36 and the South Umpqua Lancers at 30. Lancers will take possession of the ball and they'll bring it into their front court. On the wing, on the left-hand side, a bounce pass down into the key. Goes up, no good, and the rebound goes to Coquille. So Hoyle brings down the boards on that one. Finds Luckman coming down the left side. Going to get it back over to Hoyle. Find Jones here at the top of the key. Got Leap on the right. Going to find Luckman as well as he's going to bring it back. He looks like he wants to drive in, but there's nowhere to go. Here's Leap. He spins right. Looks left, off the rim, no good. And Lancers with the rebound. Fast pass to Wilborn, takes it all the way downtown, puts it up, off the glass, no good. But he did draw a foul. I don't know if they're going to call the charging against him or what. I think they're going to call the charging against South Umpqua. Nothing against this official, but the way that he's right. his, his, his hand and arm motions are, it's really difficult it's to, to figure out. Yeah. yeah, hard to get a read on him. I don't know what happened to the Strato Cruiser court maintenance moth they had back there. <laughs> oh, that thing was eight feet I think it's I think it's hiding in the corner Willie's, over there. Willie's hiding it back there behind yeah. him. <laughs> have to go down there and have a talk with him at yeah. uh, in between ball games here, I guess. <laughs> Boy, that thing will soak up the sweat quick. <laughs> so we have the Red Devils on the baseline in their backcourt about to inbound. 7-17 left in the fourth. 36-30, Red Devils. Okay, so we're going to have Coquille in possession. There was a foul that was called, and that's going to go against... Or is it? No, they just took it off the board. They're just going to say that it went out of bounds. Okay. There's a long pass again. Well, the defense gets down a little faster for South Umqua. There's pass back from Hoyle to Jones to Leap. Slapped away from Leap and picked up by the Lancers. Cole takes his position. He kind of leans back while the rest of the players get up forward so he can have some defense. He came inside. The ball is down in the corner. Looks at a three-pointer but takes a bounce pass onto the left-hand lane line. And he's trying to spin and put it in for two. It hits the bucket. No good. And a quick backup puts two in the bucket. Now it's a Coquille ball. So Leap is going to work on getting it across. And there's a long pass intended for Luckman. Gets tipped out of bounds as the South Umqua player goes about six rows deep. 
Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't wind up in anybody's lap. I am, too. <laughs> Pretty good footwork. <laughs> There's the inbound pass to Leap. Almost lost control of it. Trying to get a little give and go. Here comes Felton. He comes off the glass too strong. Oh, and timeout. Yep. Quick timeout here going on. I got to say thanks to our sponsors really quick. You know, uh, we've talked about uh, our athlete of the game, which, well, that will be coming up here in just a couple of minutes. Thanks to Emily Schroeder Funeral Services. And got to say thanks again to Les Rob Tire Center as they are the halftime report sponsor, always bringing you the latest and the greatest. Then, uh, of course, we got the City of the Coquille for the pre and post game. Uh, we've got uh, Coaster Coffee right here from the broadcast booth. We got Coquille Supply with all these awesome uh, attire that we get to wear. And keeping us safe on the road, Coquille Tire. That's right, on the road with Coquille Tire. All kinds of fun stuff. Oh, there's your favorite song again, Dan. That's right. It'll now all weekend long. My brain will be going bump, 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 bump. It won't wear off till Monday. Huh? I mean it. <laughs> I'm going to get that recorded one of these times. Yeah. And, and I'm going to come. Just going to leave it. I know. I know. Leave it on my phone. Yeah. Huh? I, I know. I know when you're working, so I'll just leave a message. <laughs> all right, Lancers in their front court. Ball is on the wing, left hand side. A bounce pass down into the paint. Then it comes back out, top of the key. Drives inside. High pass goes back out, brings it to the top of the key. And a three-pointer goes up, hits the bucket, no good. Oh, man. Pyle tipped that and actually put it in for him. Good grief. Now, all these years of broadcasting, I've never seen that. And we're going to have a timeout called really quick by Coquille. Yeah, they turned it into a two-point ball game. Yeah, well, and the thing of it is, they're fighting for the rebound, and Hoyle just happened to be the last one to get his hand on it, mm -hmm. and it just went the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, just tipped it the wrong way. It happens. Yeah, not very often, thank goodness. Yeah, I tell you what, South Umqua, they are pumped up. Yeah, they what the heck, no kill making points for us. Bet you. That's all right, the Red Devils will pull it out. Yeah, they're going to have to uh, work really, really hard here for the rest of this here prairie. They're going to have to hit the board strong. Their defense is going to have to be spot on. And they're going to have to be making shot after shot because you figure there's 548 left in the ball game. Yeah. That's a lot of time, and you only got two points on the board that's changing up things. That's right. So we're not going to see any backcourt pressure as Hoyle inbounds the ball to Jones. We're going to get a nice screen by Leaf and Felton. There's an inside pass to Felton back over to Jones. They're going to find Luckman who's going to bring it back up around the top of the key. Here's Hoyle. I thought he might look at that three-pointer, but here comes Luckman. He can't go anywhere as he's teamed up. He got a shot by Luck Luckman, but it's short. And the Lancers take it. Bring it down the backcourt into the front court. That's Cole. He moves off to the right-hand side. Bounce pass right into Leaf's hands. As that defense was saying, they've got to have. Here comes Jones all the way down, and the ball gets stripped out of his hands. Now the Lancers headed back down their court. A bounce pass to the low post. Gets put one up. Going to call a foul against Coquille. That's going to go against Leap. Puts Wilborn on the baseline to inbound the ball right that's, underneath their bucket. Yep, yeah, that's number four for Leap. Johnson will come in and give him a breather. Ball is inbound with a bounce pass. And the three pointer goes up. No good. Bo Keel tried to save the ball. Back and forth. Ball will be turned over. Yeah, we just got a tentacle that's going to go against number three there for slamming the ball down like that. Lucier. Yep. You can't do that. Nope. I mean, yes, is it frustrating? You're gosh darn right it is. But you got to be able to, you got to be able to maintain. And um, I tell you what, I wouldn't be surprised if I did the same darn thing. I'll be yeah. honest oh, with you. Me I mean, you know, it's. It's emotional. Yeah. Johnson at the line. First shot is good. And coach will go ahead and talk to his player. Just calm him down a little bit. So, you know, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do this. Second shot. Rim. No good. 
So it's 37 to 34. Coke Hill up by three with 448 left in the fourth. And in possession. Yeah, we're going to see uh, Jones at inbound. It looks like to Hoyle, and he does. You got Johnson, Felton, and Luckman on the court for Coquille. There's Johnson. He puts up a long three-point and hits the rim, but no good. And the rebound to South Umpqua. Trying to take it home. Stops shy. Stops at the wing. <laughs> hits the top of the key. Three-pointer goes up. No good. Rebound, Coquille. Brought down by... Jones with a long pass to Johnson. He's going to take a little jump shot. He's going to get rejected. Goes out of bounds. So we're looking at one foul for Coquille so far and two for South Umpqua. Coquille out to Hoyle. Finds Johnson. Back over to Luckman on the right. Trying to find something in, in in between. Felton gets a ball somehow from Jones. And a boy, it in. <laughs> <laughs> and South Umpqua trying to take it all the way downtown. And they're going to call another foul. That might be against Hoyle. It is. And he is just saying, how can that be? Are you serious? Come on, he says. <laughs> that young man plays with a lot of compassion. That's he, all I can he say. He certainly does. He's very <laughs> passionate about the game. Yes, yes, yes. I'd want him on my team. Absolutely. So the Lancers are inbound with a bounce pass. That finds Burnett. And he's on the key. It's back out to the top of the key. They drive inside and a steal. Jump ball. Hoyle's got that one. Atta boy. <laughs> but, you know, Hoyle, take a look. I mean... Yeah, you know, it's just, it's been very aggressive here this evening. It, it has been. And when you're trying to go for that ball and your arm is wrapped around the neck, it's like, what are you doing to me over there? Pass down court to break that backcourt pressure up. Got knocked out of bounds by South Umpqua. Coquille ball inbounded from in front of the official. The official saying, get back down to the end. Jones is saying, I'm talking to the coach. I don't want to. And look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Long three-point shot by Jones. In and out. No good. Lancer ball in the backcourt. And they hand it back to Cole. Cole brings it into the front court. From the wing, three-pointer goes up. No good. Rebound, Lancer. Brought back up from the wing. Two-pointer goes up from inside the key. Rebound, Coquille. Brought down by Jones. He'll bring it down across the timeline. Screen by Luckman. Back around it goes. Here's Felton underneath again. And they're going to call a jump ball on that one with the possession going in the hands of South Umpqua. Johnson for Coquille will sit down. Leap will come back on the court with three minutes and eight seconds left in the game. 39-34, Coquille up by five. And we're going to have a quick timeout called by South Umpqua. And we might as well say thanks to a few of our sponsors that make this possible. Coos Bay Toyota, Midwest Coast Flooring, k, &K Sound Systems, O'Neill's RV Doors, and Continuous Gutters. Brown Trucking and Development, Econoruda, CarQuest Auto Parts, Roseburg Forest Products, Myrtle Veterinarian Hospital, Umpqua Bank, Highway Deli Mart, MP Auto and Rigging. Of course, Coquille Tire, keeping us safe on the road with First Community Credit Union, Inspired Ink Tattoo, where there's all kinds of artwork being done. East Fork Lumber Company, we got to save for Jared. Go Bobcats. Hey, hey. <laughs> Milky Way Feed Tack and Mars Hardware. You know, I got to see uh, uh, Dave. You know, David created that old Milky Way. Yeah, yeah I got to see Dave, uh, let's see, what was it, yesterday. He's a fun guy. Oh, man, he's I, great. I like Dave. Well, and you know, he's uh, he's he's the captain on the fire department here. Oh, outstanding. Yeah, you talk about doing stuff in the community. Oh, my gosh, they do so much great stuff for the kids. And, and you know, by the way, the 4-H auction is going to be coming up. I just got a phone call yesterday because uh, I've been the auctioneer for him before. They've asked me to do that again. So. Oh, what an honor. Very, very much honor. So we'll have a, a date on that for you here, and that way we can promote that for them as well. If I go out to the car and there's a piglet in the back seat, I'll know. <laughs> I'll know, Lee. Great steal by Hoyle. He feeds it to 
It's going every which way. What are we going to have? We're going to have a timeout called by Coquille, but I don't know who's going to have possession. Coquille had it, but the thing of it is, nobody really had it because it was scooting it, on the it, floor. It went through a string of players who all were on the floor. Now, Coquille did like have a, a hand on it last. Look at our officials. They're down there just a chuckling. Yeah. All right, so who are we going to give it to? You're this guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it almost looked like they were playing Twister down there for a little while. Ah, oh, man, I tell you. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, right after today's ball game, or this evening's, I should say, we're going to have the Lady Red Devils, who is 12-1 overall, 0-1 for the season. Got a little uh, opportunity, if you will, to talk with Coach Marty of the Lady Red Devils. And I said, man, that was a tough loss and up there at Sayusla. And he said, yes, it was. But he says, you know, we're... We're, we're doing all right. He says, you know, but that's, it's tough when you got, you know, Holly. I mean, it's a team effort, but as we know, Holly's a great contributor. And, you know, when you're double and triple team in Holly the entire time. And, and Lexi and, as well. And that's what I was going to say. Oh. Exactly. So, you know, when, when you got that happening and, and you can't get, you know, folks down inside the way that you want to, it just gets tough. And. You know, these teams, they're, they, they're getting tougher and tougher because they know that here we're playing as well as they are, we are, and they want to bring an upset to us. So oh, you, you bet. But he did say the girls are ready for tonight. They had a good practice, and uh, things should be rolling much better for them. So as you know, see, it's triple teamed. The defense is just going crazy, if you will. They're doing a man-on-man, -man, and then they pull up a zone at the same time which is an art in itself. And so Hoyle is going to try to move things around inside the leap. He shoots, gets fouled, nothing's called. And the Lancers take possession of the ball. Hustling it down into their front court. A pass to Burnett. He's on the elbow, right-hand side. Ball moves out to the wing for a three-pointer. No good. Brought, no kill. Brought down by Hoyle. He's going to be double-teamed again. Here comes Coquille to break that backcourt pressure up. Hoyle comes out from the backcourt, thankfully, to save everything. The defense phenomenal right now for South Elm because they're working it hard. Luckman with possession of it. Back up top, back over. Jones is just rolling back and forth. we got a minute and 43, seven seconds left on the clock. Leap inside, comes off the glass, shoots, but it's no good. Gets his own rebound. Goes for again. Now they call the foul, finally. <laughs> well, you know, you got to, well, I know it's my outside voice. But the thing of it is, is if you're going to let them play, let them play. If you're going to call it tight, then call it tight. But you got to be consistent with the whole darn thing. Yeah, so the players can read the court. That's the whole thing. So Luckman's shooting two. First shot is up. Nothing but net. 40-34 currently. Coquille up by six. And checking in Lucier for the Lancers. Second shot, nothing but net. Very well done. 41 to 34, minute and a half left as Lancers bring the ball into their front court. They find Burnett, and he about has the ball stripped away from him. Ball comes back out and is picked up by Cole. Brings it back out, top of the key. Three-pointer, can't get it. Tries to get the ball inside and goes out of bounds. Knocked away by Luckman. Lancers at their front court baseline. High pass, brings it in. Looking at a three-pointer from the top of the key. Can't do it. Burnett on the wing. Loses his footing coming in. Ball gets back out onto the paint. They spin, put it up, and it's good for two. One minute left in the game. Coquille ball. Coquille up by five. Long pass across. Back. Oh, we're going to have a travel call on Jones. I don't even know how he held possession of it, to be honest with you. The way the pass was a little high, he was able to come down with it and then heavily guarded. So the ball comes in for the Lancers, top of the key. And a quick handoff at the top of the key to Lucere. He drives around on the right-hand side. Pass back to Burnett. And an open lane line. He draws the foul. Yeah, 
So that'll take to the foul line. Number four, Matthew Burnett. Oil didn't like that call at all. There's 39 seconds left in the game. Jake's Coach Jake is saying, just calm down, guys. Calm down. It's okay. Well, the thing of it is, is when you have a clean rejection and they call a foul, which sometimes happens because, and so often, it doesn't take much to hit that hand. No. And so, you know, you hit the ball and then it catches the hand and it's like it's a bam, bam type thing. And it's like, gosh, darn it, you know. So it's not that it's a bad call. It's just a bam, bam call. That's right. <laughs> Here's the second shot for South Umpqua, and it's good. 41 to 37, timeout called. And that's going to be timeout for South Umpqua. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. We just greatly do appreciate it. It's your 97.7 KRWL. Winter Lakes High School Radio. 97.7. Brings you the voice of the Coquille Red Devils. And Dan and I are just honored to be here. You bet. In between games, we will take you back to the studio. So... You can hear some of your favorite music. You know, that's one of the things, folks. If you're tuning into the ball game and, and you don't really tune into the, uh, you know, the games, or, uh, I mean, the music and all, give it a chance. I mean, uh, it doesn't really matter what kind of music that you like. They play a little bit of everything. Yeah, and uh, I like that kind of a station. I, I, really, I really love the format. I, I mean, there's some music on there. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a fan of. But you know what? When you, when you got, you know, <laughs> almost everything they play that you enjoy... You know, it's a good thing. Yeah, I do. I do uh, enjoy a diverse program. So Coquille splits up the full court pressure again. There's going to be a foul that's going to be called against South Elmquan. Huh? Yeah, that'll be Matthew Burnett, a foul against him with 35 seconds left in the game. Coquille. And that, that, excuse me, I'm sorry, Dan. That's his fifth foul, too. Oh, that, that fouls him right out of the game. Coquille right across from the Coastal Coffee broadcast booth inside the, uh, well, actually right there next to the center court line. They'll be inbounding their ball. And he'll get fouled out in the backcourt. The reason for doing this, they just want to stop the clock and hopefully try to get the ball back and put some more points on the board. You bet. So if you've never understood why they want to do that, that's, that's the reason. But that also puts five fouls. So with that, Leap's going to go to the line shooting two. 33.9 seconds left in the game. Coquille currently with 41. South Emcar with 37. Hits the back of the rim, no good. Shot clock got turned off just as he was getting ready to shoot. That could have been a distraction. Have to get on Coach Waddington about that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, the second shot was no good, but South Umpqua taken away with 30 seconds left on the clock. They drive inside. There's Cole. He puts it up. No good. Right. Field ball. Yeah, and there's going to be another foul on Leap. Great job hitting the boards by Felton. As South Umpqua is battling as hard as they can to try to make something happen. Things continue the way they are. That's going to put the Coquille fellas up with the 2-0 and with the league starting. Well, you know, we were talking about, wouldn't it be great if Coquille just exploded? And yeah, especially when the <laughs> league play started. <laughs> now, that's an unusual miss by Mr. Leap. Yeah, it really is. 41-37, to 37, Coquille on top. Well, we definitely have the athletes, you know, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, you bet. And uh, Lancers bring the ball into their front court. There's Cole. He's trying to put one up around the rim. No good. And that will be taking somebody else to the foul line. I guess. Yeah, they're going to be. It's going to be Leap again. Again. Wow. Come on, Mr. Leap. Yeah, let's put two more on the board. Yeah, last time I turned on our, our station, I was listening to a little reggae, and uh, I enjoy that as well. Oh, it's just, I, yeah, I love it. 
And the shot for Leap is up. It's good. Coquille with a score of 43, a six-point lead over the Lancers. And we'll have you that athlete of the game brought to you by Emily Schroeder Funeral Service here just shortly. Second one is good as well. Man, there's Luckman. What a great dive. Yeah. <laughs> Sliding into first base. That was a great save. He looks at the coach with a smile from ear to ear. He said, how'd you like that one, coach? Yeah, I, you I know put... what? I got to get my picture taken with that guy because he's going places. <laughs> I love it. That was great. <laughs> uh, good eye. He is, man. Luckman is a very strategic ball player, and I really enjoy watching him play. Uh, it's been, and he's had a good day today. Yeah, he has. That just put him in the run. You betcha. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and the ball is inbound. Ten seconds. There's Cole. He picks it up. Pass out onto the wing. Three-point shot goes up. Too strong. No good. And Felt comes down with it. He'll go to the line. 2.8 seconds left on the clock. 44-37, to 37, Coquille Red Devils. Trying to get our players positioned on the lane lines so that he can make the shot. Ooh, round it goes and out it comes. Again on the foul line, that's Isaac Felton for Coquille. Here's the second shot. And it's good. And the long half-court shot goes down, but it's no good. And that's the game, ladies and gentlemen, with the final score of the Coquille Red Devils at 45. The South Umpqua Lancers at 37. And as we bring you the Coquille uh, post-game report, we want to thank them so much. As Dan just mentioned, the final score, you know, it was... Uh, Really something, because when you take a peek at the first, 13 to 10, not a bad scoring. But uh, in the second, you have some South Umpqua with eight. And then, of course, also with eight, you had Tokyo. So it was neck and neck right on going into halftime. But then you had a big jump, 12 points by South Umpqua here in the third. But then, of course, you had 15 by Coquille. Now, as you come into the final, Coquille scored an additional nine points to South Umpqua seven. Coquille was able to go ahead and work it in the paint a lot better. Uh, the defense, though, for South Umpqua in the last few minutes definitely piped, you know, piped up and, and was playing pretty darn good there in the fourth. So, uh, once again, uh, our hat's off to them for that. But uh, athletes of the game, I got uh, Levi Hoyle and Canyon, Canyon uh, Luckman. And so do I. <laughs> Canyon and Levi, great, great job. Uh, perfect job, gentlemen. I tell you what, that puts two wins on the board in league play for the fellas. We're going to take it back to the station for some more music before we get ready to pick up your Lady Red Devils. So hang on, everybody, because we'll be right back. Yeah, about 15 minutes.
Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for Red Devil Radio. Here we are in the Devil Dome at Coke Hill High School, where the young ladies will take on the South Umpqua Lancers. Both teams on the court right now. It's Dan and Lee, and we're bringing you the game. Thanks to our sponsors. We're looking forward to an exciting game tonight after a, uh, an upset for Coke Hill uh, last week. Or, no, I guess it was Wednesday, Tuesday night. <laughs> We've been going so much, it's yeah. like, what day is it? It is. I, sometimes I feel like I got one foot nailed to the floor and I'm running in circles. <laughs> oh. They're going to leave the box seats? Right. We are. We are looking forward to through another great basketball game again with the uh, Tokyo Red Devils again and the South Umpqua Lancers. Both teams, uh, this is the official league play, as it were. And both teams are on the court warming up right now. Lee, how are you this evening? You know what? It's fantastic, Dan. This place is just alive. Uh, I was able to go ahead and just down on the court and talk to the assistant coach, Coach Nelson, down there. And I said, man, the girls are looking like they are definitely ready. She just had a big smile on her face. She says, we are. We are in it. And, uh, of course, you know, the ladies... You know, the, the attitude of the ladies are really, really good. Uh, you know, they're all smiling. They're feeling good. Uh, they're making some good shots as they're warming up. And uh, it's just really nice to see the the happiness on their face, you know. Um, as we did talk, I mean, they were 12-0. and 0 and, and sometimes it's not a bad thing to get a loss. And you know the thing of it is when you get a loss like they did, I mean, let's, let's just put it out there. They got the butt kicked. Yeah, it happened. Because they were just not on. They were off. It happens. I don't care if it's high school, college, professional. It happens. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes when those things happen, <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Now, I am really looking forward to seeing how these ladies come out and play tonight. I really, really am because I mentioned it, and I'll mention it again. In. Their attitudes and everything were different. They were more like they were somber yeah. at Sayusla. Yeah. You didn't see the, the laughter, you know, the little joking here or there. Um, and because of what we do and where we're at, we're able to see these things. And, you know, it wasn't there. I and mean, it just wasn't. So whatever was going on obviously affected everything. And it just very easily could have been, you know, what yeah. is happening here? Who knows? It doesn't matter. It's done. It's over. It's in. It's it's another chapter that we're into now. You know, and so you you can't you can't keep hold of that in the history books. But they are looking really good. Everything is. Uh, they're ready to play some ball. And I tell you what, we're very very much ready to get things going. Thanks again to the city of Coquille for the pregame report. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of music during uh, in between ball games and. Well, we're going to get down and get busy here really quick. It's great. I, I tell you what, if we sang for them during one break, they would really appreciate it. <laughs> they, 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 they wouldn't even let that license continue, I'm sure. That radio station would just crumble. Oh, man. But you know what's cool? you got all kinds of students on the floor here for the Lady Red Devils. you got the basketball guys out here. Um, I mean, you know, it's such a, a great uh, showing and togetherness for, uh, you know, these, these uh, ladies that get ready to come out. So how about a lineup there, Dan, for oh, South Umpqua? Okay. Well, tonight starting for the South Umpqua Lancers is number three, Alyssa Wilson. Number 12 is Ali McElmurray. And number 13 is Maddie Pratt. Number 23, Danica Richardson. And number 25, Bailey Donahoe. That's the starting lineup for the South Umpqua Lancers. And here comes your Lady Red Devils. Number two, it's Emmy Wirebaugh. Coming down the court, you've got number 10, that's Taylor Kellner. And getting ready to go. So join them. That's 22, Lexi Lucatero. Number 24, Holly Bijou. And, of course, number 42, Jenna Wills. That is your starting Lady Red Devils lineup here tonight. Man, I tell you what, this place is pretty darn crowded, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's because I told everybody during the first game that there was room. Come on down, enjoy the game. <laughs> and there's still a little bit of room. <laughs> Nobody's. I wonder if anybody's left at home listening. Uh, yeah, but the, the auditorium is packed, and and uh, it's it's a lot of fun. You know, the the community's down there. As Lee was pointing out, uh, it, it's great opportunity for the community to get together. And here's our tip off. 
Nice job by Luke Totero to get that tip off. Comes down inside to Wireball. She puts it up, but it's still good. Luke Totero steals it away. Feeds Vijou looking at a three-pointer. She puts it up a little bit short on the rim. Grabs her own rebound. And we're going to have something going on here. We're going to have... Trujillo. Trujillo. Oh, okay, we got... Wireball got Twisted injured. Her ankle already. Yep. Bless her heart. Yeah, she's she's not feeling well with it. Yeah, coach is assisting her off the court. Ah, uh, no good. And that is number two, Emmy Wirebaugh. She'll be taking a break right now. And she's going to go straight into the locker room. Oh. Coke Hill with a quick in and out. Put two on the board. The rebound went to the Lancers. They lost it out at the uh, baseline. Yeah, we'll have to get a, a little follow-up on her maybe at halftime and let you folks know how she's doing. It's it's murder to roll your ankle. I know that. So the Lancers inbound. And stolen away by Viju. Puts it out the glass. Good for two. Go kill with a score. Stolen again by Viju on that inbound pass. <laughs> Lucatero. No, excuse me. That was Trujillo over to Lucatero. Back out to Viju. She looks at a 20 footer Puts it up, and it's good. We got a quick six on the board by Coquille. And the ball is inbound. Lancers heavily guarded, trying to get out of the uh, back court. Well, there was an she elbow, but up. it's an elbow. She threw an elbow at Holly, but they didn't call it. But they turn around and call a foul on Holly. Come on now. So the ball is inbound in the back court. Inbounding for <laughs> them is Donahoe. Ball is tipped out. Taylor giving him a bad time there. Tanner Kellner, here comes trouble. Boy, she's she's on him out there. <laughs> and the Lancers trying to inbound the ball. Taylor about had her hands on it. Back out of bounds. Less than a minute into the game, Coquille with a score of six. Ball is inbound, picked up by the Lancers and back. Holly stole it again. Feeds Kellner. Kellner tried to get the pass into Lucatero. Luc Just couldn't as it rolled off her fingers. And there's Donahoe with a pick set for her. She gets into the front court. Ball makes it down into the short corner where they're fighting for it. And we're going to have a jump ball. Lucatero says, I want it. Possession is going to go into the hands of South Umqua. So we've got Wilson out there. She'll be inbounding. It's picked up by Donahoe. Heavily guarded as she tries to get toward the key. Trujillo about slapped the ball away from her. And, you know, went right off the foot of South Elmqua, as she did. So there's a turnover. Coquille had possession. Lucatero gets it over to Vijou, crosses the timeline. Trujillo here on the right. Three-pointer. Rejected by Vijou. And Donahoe bringing the ball down the sideline on the right-hand side. And we see a foul called. That'll go against Trujillo. Yeah, a little bit of a reach in there, I do believe. So inbounding the ball again, Alyssa Wilson. Long pass is picked up by Coquille. So there's Vijou again on it. She's going to take it off the glass. Good for two again. Eight to nothing. Yeah, how about that as the Lancers take the ball into their front court. Out of bounds on the sideline. And that'll put Wilson on the sideline. She'll be inbounding for South Umpqua. Donahoe right up front. Kellner steals that one away. <laughs> now she's going to take it in. And fouled in the process of the backhand hook shot. So she'll go to the line shooting, too. Kellner, up and good. That young man that just went by you? Yeah. Talk about a race car driver. Oh. 13 years old. Is that right? Pedal to the metal. Champion on, out there at Speedway. Wow. Hagee, last name. When I was 13, I was oh, no, wait still a minute. having trouble being on my bicycle. No, wait, he's only 12. Excuse me. <laughs> So the Lancers bring it into their front court, move off to the right-hand side. As Travel. oh, traveling, 
Ball will be turned over to Coquille. That was good defense, and, uh, of course, Taylor Kellner had everything to do with that. Yes, sir. We're seeing the Lady Red Devils as the Lady Red Devils tonight, aren't we? Yes, we are. Here comes Vijou. Quick pass to Torhelio off the glass. It's good for two. Man, these girls are feeding each other extremely well. Yes, they are. Kellner steals it again. Oh, oh she was going yeah. for Torhelio, but Torhelio decided to move. She was on the run. Yeah, she was, <laughs> bless her heart. A little mix up there. Going to have a timeout called by South Umqua. Hey, thanks again so much to Emily Schroeder Funeral Service for uh, having the athlete of the game. Of course, we had Hoyle and Luckman for the boys that were just played. And, of course, Les Rob Tire Center bringing you the halftime report. Pre and post game by Coquille Tire. Broadcasting from the Coastal Coffee Broadcast booth. Coquille Supply for everything that they do for us. And, of course, on the road, keeping us safe for some... Tires that'll go through the mud, the snow, the rain, or the dry. It don't They'll matter. Do everything but climb a tree. And they're doing it all. Rolling down the highway, keeping us safe with Coquille Tire. We want to thank them all so very much. Now, Lady Red Devils, as well as South Umqua, will be coming onto the court. As South Umqua will take possession. 5.35 left in the first. 12 to nothing, Coquille. And Donahoe inbounds the ball. Coquille with a full court press. As the ball still in the backcourt, Donahoe brings it over the timeline, runs into Trujillo, Kellner with a steal. And <laughs> that ball just barely bounced on the, on the line over there to go out of bounds. Alyssa Wilson will be on the sideline for the Lancers, ball being inbound. And brought down to Donahoe. She brings it over the timeline. Uh, handoff back and forth. Taken out of the hands by Kellner. Coming down on the layup off the glass. Good for two. 14 zip. Go Keel as the Lancers bring the ball into Trujillo <laughs> with the steal. <laughs> now it's her turn to put it up off the glass. Too strong. Kellner comes down with it for the Red Devils. Here's Vijou inside to Trujillo again. Gives it another chance, and it's good for two. And the ball comes in. There's... Donahoe with a pass out to the backcourt. Oh. Back and forth. Great defense by the Lady Red Devils. So we're going to see Luca Taro. She'll be inbounded from pretty much in front of the Coast Coffee Broadcast booths right here, by golly. Well, watch out, Coach. Coming through. <laughs> but you have to be in a certain spot. That's you Yeah, know. you do. And you have to listen to the officials. So there it comes in from Luke Cotero. Long three-pointer by Kellner. No good. And a bounce pass with the... Stolen away by Trujillo. <laughs> over to Vijou. She tries to come off the glass, but it's too strong. A rebound goes to the Lancers. Kellner wants that ball back, and she got it. She's going to put it up, and is fouled in the process. She's going to the line shooting, too. Wow. She's awesome. <laughs> Man, I'm here to tell you, the Lady Red Devils are just rocking it. 16 to nothing right now. First shot for Coquille is up. No good. Man. Yeah, in and out. Brought down by Luca Taro. And it's going to be a jump ball. Possession stays in the hands of Coquille. We haven't seen Wirebaugh back yeah, on no. the court yet. No, I don't see her. And there's a quick inbound pass to Willis. She puts it off the glass. It's good for two. Inbound ball. And the Lancers back to Donahoe. She brings it over the timeline. Caught on a travel. Traveling. Well, you know, Kellner was there. She got stopped with a pick that was put out by one of the South Umqua players. And then you had Vijou just step up quickly. Caused a little bit of trouble to cause that. Passes into Luca Terra to Willis. Now to Vijou on a long three-pointer. Nothing but net. It is good to go. 21 to nothing. Coquille. Donahoe with a pass into the oh, slapped away. Trying to get that ball into the front court. Time is ticking away. And there's another jump ball by Kellner. It's going to be in the hands of South Umqua. 
We're going to have a couple of folks get some extra breathing in here. We're going to have Salazar, Nelson, and Coyle. Come on. Lucatero, Trujillo, and Kellner will have a sit down. And Donahoe inbound. Ball is picked up. Fast pass down into the corner on the right hand side. Hits the open paint. Yeah, and they're gonna, foul is called. Yeah, I think they're going to call that one on Vigio. I think so as well. No, they're going to call that on Coyle. Oh, wow. So the Lancers on their baseline. Front court will be inbounding the ball. Bounce pass brings it inside. She's double teamed. Overhead pass hits the paint. And she's fouled as she goes for the layup. And that'll take to the foul line, Kenzie Martinez, sophomore this year. So that's going to put three team fouls for Coquille, two for South Emqua. That foul did go on Nelson. And here's the first shot for the Lancers. Oh, bounced all the way around the bucket and came back down. No score. 325 left in the first. Again, the score 21 zip. Coquille on top. Here's the second shot for the Lancers. And balls up. Hits the back of the bucket. Comes back out. No good. Rebound. Coquille. Mizu brings that one down. She's got to get some help real quick. She's double teamed. Salazar helps. Oh, and these coil wide open on the layup off the glass, and it's good. <laughs> and the Lancers with the rebound. There's Donahoe. She's trying to get the ball over the timeline. Down the right-hand sideline, taking it all the way to the low post. And they're going to call the carry on her down underneath there, so that'll be a turnover. Ball will go into the hands of Coquille. So Willis will inbound to Vijou. No at court pressure at all. You got Nelson, you got Salazar and Hoyle on the court. Willis and Vijou. Over to the side it goes to Nelson. On the pass, that was for Vijou. Vijou got fouled. And that foul was against Alyssa Wilson on the Lancer side of the ball. So there's that pass from Nelson to Vijou. Vijou calls out a play. Maddie over to Coyle. Coyle's trying to feed down below to Willis. Goes over to Salazar. Trying to get a handle on it. Willis puts it up again. It's no good. It's going to be a whistle called underneath. And it's going to go against Vijou, it sounds like. No, that's against uh, Willis. Oh, He's Willis, 42. excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, we want to keep... We don't want too many fouls on Vijou too quick, bless her heart. <laughs> no deal is in foul trouble, though, with five fouls. 233 left in the first period. Wow, so much has been going on in the last six minutes. Holy mackerel. Well, yeah, and I mean, Coquille has already got five fouls. Um, South Elmcar only, they've already got three. The score is 23 to nothing. Put South Elmcar to the line. Anna Calvary. Or no, that's uh, Caden Stahl on the line for South Umqua. First shot is up and no good. 233 left in the first, 23 zip, Coquille. Here's the second shot for the Lancers from the foul line. Shots up. In the bucket, back out, no good. Rebound, Coquille. Great rebound there by Coyle, who feeds Bijou, who's going to find Nelson. Oh, back over to Salazar. Great ball handling for a quick two points. Outstanding. There's Donahoe. She's carrying the ball for the club tonight. A fast pass brings it over. The uh, Stolen by Salazar. She's going to come on down. She's going to spin left off around the basket and so good. There's going to be a foul underneath that I think will go against South Umqua. It will as that puts four team fouls now out there. And that fouls against Maddie Pratt on the uh, Lancer side of the ball. So Willis will be here. At the line. Hits the front of the rim, no good. Girls will give her a little love tap there. So come on. Yep. Just a little bit more of those Cheerios. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, that hits the front, too. No good. And Lancer rebound. Ball goes to Donahoe. Fast pass brings it over the timeline, and that is Allie McEllery. 
Mechel Murray, I beg your pardon. Back to Donahoe. Down in the corner, they look at a three-point shot. She drives inside the key, puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebound back to Coquille. Well, they tried to throw it off of Vijou. Vijou just picked it up. She's coming all the way down. A little jumper in the paint. Up and around, but no good. Salazar's trying to steal it down below. <laughs> and South Umpqua. And that is uh, Wilson bringing the ball. Salazar in. does steal it eventually here. She's coming down the right-hand side. She goes to shoot and is fouled in the process. Puts five fouls on the board for South Umpqua. Plus puts her to the line shooting two due to the foul. And then I tell you what, lady's gonna be burning up this floor. <laughs> I'll tell you, yeah, man. <laughs> there won't be any paint in the paint. <laughs> First shot for Coquille was up, but no good. And checking in for South Umpqua, that is uh, Kenzie Martinez. And there's a shot. It's up, no good either. Hits the rim. Oh, nice job by Coyle. She was going for the rebound. She saw it was going out of bounds. She saw that it was South Umpqua kind of tapped it first. She just backed off, so perfect play. Yeah, yeah, perfect play. There's a end of Willis. She puts it up heavily guarded. She got the shot off, but it wasn't any good. And there is Wilson. A quick pass brings it into the front court. Across the court to the left-hand side. Slapped away by Vijou and picks it up at the same time. Quick pass to Salazar. Here she comes with the layup. And it's good off the glass. Another two points for Coquille. 27 zip. End of the first. One minute left. Lancers are trying to bring it into the front court. Salazar putting the heat on. Ball makes it into the front court over the timeline. And a bounce pass. Takes it to the wing on the right-hand side. A quick pass, drives it down to the corner, comes back out with a bounce pass. Try to make a three-point shot from outside the key. No good. Tokyo ball. Brought down by Vizhu. It's going to get double-teamed. Ball almost got stripped away. Find Salazar on the right-hand side coming across the timeline. Back over to Rizhu. Now it out to Nelson. Nelson with a three-pointer. It's up around the rim. No good. Wow, that's unusual. She rarely <laughs> misses those shots. So the Lancers are bringing it down into their front court. Ten seconds left in the first and out of bounds. The ball will be turned over to Coquille. Walk is stopped at 8.5 seconds. 27 zip. Red Devils. Well, when you're running as fast as you are, Coquille, when you've got the defense as tight as they are, it's pretty darn tough to do anything else except do your best and not be real successful. That's right. Only because of the intensity that Coquille has got going. So, South Umpqua, though, they've knocked the last two inbound passes yeah, back Yeah, they're out. getting a little more aggressive out there on the court. So that's Nelson that's going to inbound it. Get it to Bijou. Clock winds down. There's a shot. It's good for two. And not the buzzer. You got 29 Coquille to nothing. South Elmqua. But now as we're talking about what I just mentioned, the girls are playing so fast. You know, a lot of times, as we know, you come out that first period, you're feeling each other out. You know, you're doing a little this, you're doing a little that. So Keel is coming out like, all right, just, just bring it, firecracker. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, here's the thing. None of them, not one of them, enjoyed that game the other night. No. And they were not happy with themselves. Taking away how the coach felt about the whole thing, the girls themselves individually and as a whole was not satisfied and did not like that whatsoever. I was going to say it was probably a pretty quiet bus ride home. You betcha. So they had a really good practice yesterday. They're working really, really hard. And they realized, okay, fine, we got the loss, okay? Uh, we're, we're not super women out here, okay? Right. But we've got to start playing our game. We've got to enjoy it. We've got to have fun. But we got to start playing our type of basketball again. And that's exactly what we saw in the first period. 29 unanswered points, a defense that is phenomenal. They're trying to, to pressure the girls in the backcourt and everything, and the girls are running right to them. So the bottom line is, is that Coquille is back on track. 
And they got three more periods to go. All right. Beginning of the second period, the clock is set at eight minutes. Coquille with a score of 29. South Umqua Lancers have yet to score. And Coquille will take possession of the ball as it comes inside. So that's going to be Nelson inbounds it to Kellner. <laughs> and there's going to be a jump ball because of the defense that South Umqua had right on the line. So South Umqua takes possession. Danica Richardson inbounding the ball for the Lancers. Stolen by Nelson. She's coming all the way down on the left side on the layup. Off the glass, but it comes around the rim no good. And back. Again, the Lancers bringing it into their front court. A quick handoff finds Bailey Donahoe. Headed off to the right-hand side. She circles around, puts it up too strong over the bucket. Rebound goes to the Lancers, no good. Rebound, Coquille. That's VSU. She's going to need some help, but she's double-teamed back there. There's Salazar. She brings it across the timeline. Finds Trujillo. She puts up a jumper back to the rim, no good. And the rebound again. There's Richardson taking it all the way down the sideline, loses her footing. And that's going to be a, a foul that's going to go against Salazar. Ah, uh, yep. And the girls have missed three shots here already in the beginning of this second. As they are going to play the defense to try to get that ball back. And the ball is inbound. Lancers at the low post. Goes out of bounds off of their foot. Lucatero knocks that out. Right now you got Lucatero, you got Nelson, you got Kellner, you got Sal Salazar and Trujillo on the court for the Lady Red Devils. Richardson's on the rebound. Pat. Stolen away by Kellner. She's coming down the left-hand side, going back and forth on the dribble off the glass. It's too strong. Comes down with their own rebound. Finds Nelson back to Kellner. Kellner with a three-pointer off the rim. No good. Goes out of bounds. Looking for that ball. I guess it went down the hallway. There we go. The official yeah, comes out. <laughs> the official got it. <laughs> Richardson inbounding the ball, and it's picked up by Donahoe. Back to Richardson. They come through the front court. A little bit of pressure put on by Salazar. The ball passed back, then down into the corner. Stolen away by Lucatero. Finds Kellner. Now Kellner tries to move it around, and she's going to get fouled on a pushing foul. That'll put two fouls on the board for South Umqua. By the way, Coach uh, Willie Lout Willie uh, Layton down there. Yeah, yeah, he was having more fun than the kids. I bet he was. <laughs> He's a fun guy. Kellner with the ball over to Nelson. Oh, she wanted that three-pointer. Gets it back to Salazar now to Tr Trujillo. Here comes Lexi on a three-pointer, and it's good. Wow! Holy smokes! What a <laughs> shot! Well, answers bring it in their back court, carrying the ball. That's uh, Alyssa Wilson. She'll bring it over the timeline. Pick a set for her. She makes it down the sideline. About lost control of the ball. Now she's triple teamed by Coquille Salazar in it with her with a jump ball. That ball will be turned over to Coquille. i tell you what, these Lady Red Devils are playing so well. So Nelson inbounds the pass with a long pass down. It went over the head of Kellner. She just kind of went, what the heck was that? Did you see that ball roll all the way across the court? <laughs> I bet he's a bowler. That was an, uh, as straight as an arrow. <laughs> Could be. All right. So on I, the sideline is Alyssa Wilson. She'll be inbounding for the Lancers. I know he's a great uh, track coach. Oh, is he? Oh, oh yeah. And in the front court, the Lancers, a bounce pass down, top of the key, moves off to the right. Three-point shot goes up from the short corner, no good. Coquille keeping the ball alive. Right down by Trujillo, gets to the, out here to Salazar, brings it across timeline, finds Kellner. There's a good pass to her. Salazar, Trujillo. Back up top to Salazar. Going to get it over to Kellner so these ladies can try to get something happening here. 
As wherever that ball is, they're double teaming. It's a three-point shot by Trujillo, but it's no good. And a pass brings it back in to Wilson, and she'll bring it over the timeline. Long overhead pass is picked up down into the corner on the right-hand side, double teamed. Overhead pass finds its way to the paint, but it's missed. Down into the corner on the left-hand side. Out of bounds off the feet of Coquille, I do believe. The officials are talking about it. I'm not quite sure if they realize which way. So as they talk about it, they're going to give the ball to South Empire. I thought they motioned that it was going to go to Coquille. Yeah, I was I was watching to see what was going on. Wilson with a high overhead pass brings it in, but well, they uh, pointed they pointed Coquille. Yeah, but they gave the ball to South Umqua. So Salazar is going to sit down and take a little bit of a breather. You've got Nelson, Kellner, Willis, Trujillo. And Lucatero on the court for the Lady Red Devils currently. Five minutes left here in the second. 32 to nothing. Coquille is ahead. And each team has one foul. And here comes Nelson quickly down court. Oh, she got her pass intercepted. That was intended for Trujillo. Man, it's picked up. There's Wilson with the interception for the Lancers. Bring it into their front court. Runs into trouble. Gets a pick set for her. She makes it down into the corner. Looks at a three-point shot. She's double teamed. And steps out of bounds. So that was Luca Terra and Nelson that surrounded her. Caused her to put that ball out of bounds. So Luca Terra inbounds a two calendar. Comes across the timeline. Finds Trujillo. Inside to Willis. Back to Trujillo. Kellner. Trujillo, cross court, but the pass was missed. Picked up by the Lancers. There's Wilson. She's bringing it through the backcourt over the timeline. Moves off to the left-hand side. Circles around, heads off to the right-hand side. Pressure is on. Overhead pass is intercepted. Trujillo steals that one. Here she comes down the left-hand side off the bank. It's good. 34 zip. As the Lancers inbound the ball, 3.56 left in the half. Ball is inbound. Moves off to the right-hand side of the court towards the sideline. Broken up by Nelson, recovered by South Umqua. And Wilson with an overhead pass. And picked up by Coquille, loose ball. That's Kellner that grabbed hold of it. And we're going to have a timeout called by Coquille. I try to get these girls going in the direction that they want to. They've missed a few shots here. We figure they've only scored five here in the second. Oh, they've missed a couple shots, but yeah, they sure have. You're not going to make them all, but still, I think. Well, you know, the defense has really stepped up on the Lancer side of the ball. It truly has. I was going to mention that too. You're not going to just run away with 29 points again, probably in this period. Not when your defense all of a sudden says, hey, we got to tighten some things up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, man. You bet. So. <laughs> so we're going to see these ladies come back on the court and get busy with it. Possession will be in the hands of Coaquil as Trujillo. Well, inbounder just by South Lumpqua's bench from the Coastal Broadcast booth. Finds Kellner over to Coyle. Coyle wants to put it up and in. She's heavily guarded. Back over to Kellner. It goes with a three-point shot, and it's good. And the Lancers inbound the ball from their baseline. Fast pass brings it into the front court and down the right hand sideline she's double teamed and the ball is stolen by Coquille. That's Coyle that's going to pass it across court to Trujillo who comes down the right hand side. Finds Kellner up top. Over to Nelson inside to Coyle. Nice give and go to Nelson. Oh. Up and around the rim it goes. Nowhere but out. And the pass finds it to Donahoe then a back to Mc Elmery. And down into the right-hand side of their court. She slips. 
Ball is recovered. And let's see what the officials come up with. I think here. they're going to call a foul on Kellner. Oh, they sure did. So that's going to put a couple on the board for Coquille. Only one so far for South Umqua. 237 left in the second. And Donahoe on the sideline. She'll be inbounding the ball. Overhead pass. Finds the ball on the wing. Now it's out center court. Donahoe trying to circle left. Loses control of the ball. And Picked Coquille. up by Kellner. Trujillo grabs hold of it from her. Brings it across the timeline. Finds Kellner here. Now to Coyle. Coyle. Nice pass to Willis. Hits the rim. No good. So now we're going to have another foul called against Coyle. That's her second. So we got 2-12 here left in the second. 37 to nothing. Coquille. Three fouls on Coquille. And one for South Umpqua. Ball is inbound by Donahoe. And brought into the front court by Pratt. Overhead pass finds its way to the wing. They're driving to the low post. Ball goes out of bounds. Kellner's going to take a breather. We're going to get Salazar back on the court. So we got Trujillo, Salazar, Nelson, Willis, and Coyle. And ball goes out of bounds. Coquille will inbound it from in front of the bench. That'll be Willis. We what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> There's the ball inbound. Trujillo brings it across the timeline. There's Nelson wide open on a three-pointer, but it's too strong. Goes out of bounds, but Coquille roll remain in possession. As the two lady from South Umpqua were battling for that rebound, goes out of bounds. And checking in will be Alyssa Wilson, number three. And that'll give a breather to Caden Stahl on the Lancer side of the ball. So there's Salazar. Back over to True Helio. Coyle wants to do a little give and go. Finds Willis. There, there it is off the glass to Coyle, but it's too strong, no good. And the Lancers come up with the ball. There's Pratt. Fast pass down into the... Finds Martinez. Top of the key. Circling right from the elbow. The shot goes up, no good. Rebound, Coquille. Mm -hmm. Way to hit those boards is Coyle. Finds Nelson, bounce pass to Salazar. Trujillo here on the right wing. Looking for Coyle down below. Back and forth is going to go. Salazar on the top. Finds Nelson on the left. Trying to get a nice pick here for... I don't know how in the world Coyle got away with that, but she, she did. Sure did. Put up a nice... How about that? <laughs> nice shot there off the, <laughs> off the boards. And Wilson all the way downtown puts the shot up. No good rebound. Went up. That's Maddie Pratt put two on the board. She's going to go to the foul line as well for the Lancers. And that foul is going to go against Trujillo. 43 seconds left in the half. From the foul line for the Lancers. Here's the shot. Ball's up and it's good. Inbound, Coquille ball. First period winding down. Salazar to Trujillo, passes to Coyle. And come back outside it goes. There's Nelson. She's a hot little hand from over in that side of the court. She is. Here's Coyle, wants to try to put it back in. She's after the guard. We'll just play with it some more. Trujillo with a three-pointer. It's up and around no good. And Donahoe with a rebound for the Lancers. Hand off to Wilson. She'll bring it through the backcourt over the timeline. Moves off to the left-hand side. Double teamed by Coquille. A bounce pass to Donahoe from the top of the key. The shot goes up. No good. And that's going to give. That was from the three-point mark, too. So that foul is going to give her a chance for three shots. The foul is going to go against Salazar. First shot for the Lancers is up and off the glass. No good. A little too strong. <laughs> Coach Marty's over there saying something to Salazar from the sideline. She's just a smiling and saying, yep, I did it. 
Second shot for the Lancers is up. No bueno. Let's give it maybe the third time's a charm. Here's a bounce pass from the official on the foul line. Donahoe for the Lancers. Third time's up. No charm. A rebound to Coquille. And here comes Trujillo on the right-hand side at the buzzer. That's going to end it. At the end of the half, the score, ladies and gentlemen, the Coquille Red Devils, 39. The South Umpqua Lancers at three. So for a quick halftime report brought to you by Les Swab Tire Centers, you know, they're located, of course, here in Coquille, Coos Bay, North Bend, and also Reedsport. That's right. So if you're heading toward the Eugene area and you're looking for some tires, you might want to stop on by. But anyway, 29 unanswered points for the Lady Red Devils in the first. Just a phenomenal first period for the Lady Red Devils. They came out. Their defense was remarkable. There's nothing that South Umpqua was able to put together because of the defense. Now, in the second, the defense for South Umpqua stepped it up quite a bit, as we saw. Uh, they did put three points on the board, and Coquille, they put ten on. So, a little bit more of an average, if you will. Uh, but again, as I mentioned, we did see the defense for South Umpqua just come to life, and, and it was pretty much shutting some things down. Yeah, what a! I'm telling you what, it, the, the Red Devils are just shining. Um, a total turnaround, a 180 from the game Wednesday night. Uh, they came out, they're very energetic, positive, upbeat, and have really brought the old Kokio Red Devil game back to the court. Well, and you know what you know, we were talking about, too, earlier, is that nobody likes to lose. Nobody likes to lose the way that they did. No. And, you know, they were just off a little. That, that's, that's all it was, you know. But uh, other than that, it was great. Tony didn't know he was coming on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Bless his heart. Thank hey, you. you know what? Here's the thing. I don't know why Tony came over here, but he's coming over here. I'm just giving him the headset. And I'm saying, what's up, boss? Right. Let's take advantage of the situation. You know, I just, I don't know what you guys have been talking about this first half. <laughs> but I heard you need a little filler. <laughs> we, yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, uh. You know, when we were over there in Sutherland just the other night, we were talking about what's going on with the divisions and some things that are changing. And I know that uh, we were talking about volleyball and basketball was just about there. They were talking still about football. Have you heard anything? Is anything kind of in concrete yet with, with any of it? Um, well, the, the special districts are, are in concrete, locked in stone. Um, so our once again, our regular season district for next fall um, for next school year, I should say. Starts with Sayus Law, Glide, Sutherland, Douglas, South Umpqua, and Coquille. There, I got them all. Got all right. them. It's a six school league. All the leagues go to six schools. So that's great. The bad news is, like you said, Lee, that only affects volleyball, basketball, baseball, and softball. Right. That's the only thing we're in special districts for. It's not in special districts for. Okay. Right. That's our only regular district sports. So we have to, it's a wait and see on the others. Football is the next one up. Um, in fact, next week is the next football ad hoc committee meeting, and we're all hoping that we get some similar results there. It'd be oh, nice yeah. to get out of the, the big, big special district for football sure sure well and yeah it really would because you know when you're playing against folks out of medford and everything else you're looking at these private schools and we all know you know i mean when you're picking and choosing kids and all like that you know the recruiting factor it makes it really tough to go and you know and actually still be competitive although we have been it still makes it pretty darn tough and, you know, I'm liking it. I, I think, uh, you know, that takes it back to, what, about four or five years ago, kind of like what it was. And uh, I think that it's just going to, I, I just think it's going to make a huge difference. I think it's going to give each of the schools, just not us, but each of the schools a better opportunity to get to state. It's going to be less travel time, more school time. So uh, it's all good. But doesn't it also affect how many teams can go toward state? Because it makes it tougher, doesn't it? Uh, just, just by a little bit. Yeah. That's the only caveat we have from USA right now with having the, the Super League, I'll call it. Right. The league with a good number of schools. Right. Is our, our league gets an additional playoff spot as a result. Um, so, yeah, that would go away. But it's a fine trade-off 
you know, half the league still gets a, you got a six school league, three playoff spots. That's more than fair. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, absolutely. I think it's going to be a great opportunity for all of us, you know. Uh, of course, Dan and I is going to miss all the traveling, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I can always schedule you some good long trips. That's not a problem. <laughs> but really the big advantage of going to the smaller regular district, it gives each school that opportunity to schedule their non-league to benefit them yes so if you know you have a sport you're going to be struggling in a, li a little bit you find like schools to play so you're competitive if you know you're pretty darn good you find the big boys to play so, right right and it gives you that freedom and flexibility to do so well and i'm also hoping uh you know because we saw a lot of this at the banded dunes invitational tournament I'm really hoping with all of this happening, and then of course with Myrtle Point coming up to two-way, I'm hoping that we can get those rivalry games kind of scheduled again. Uh, I, I know it's going to be preseason, but still to get that rivalry going back and forth with Bandon and Myrtle Point and those games there, I mean they're just so much they're great. Yeah. yeah, I mean yeah, everybody has their their best memories of those games. Uh -huh. and, yeah. yeah. It's an opportunity to bring some of that back. Yep. That's going to be fantastic. Well, I know that you're working really hard at it and all, and, and we greatly appreciate it. Yeah, everything. we do, Tony. Thank you so much for all your pouring into all this. Well, yeah, not as much as you guys are pouring into the broadcasting of the Red Devil Sports. This has been tremendous. When Lee came up with this idea, I'm going, eh, yeah, it sounds good. But it's sounding better now because it's it's going well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's well, going well, well, you know, and, and thank you. Thank you. It's it's an honor to, to have you say that. And, but, you know, the truth of the factor is, we always say if it wasn't for our sponsors and all, we couldn't be doing this, which is a true statement. But let's really back the bus up a little bit. If it wasn't for this guy named Tony Jones getting this radio station up and going, yeah. we wouldn't be doing it either. So yeah. we're broadcasting over CBs. It's all, it's all coming together. That's right. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Well, and you know, there's a lot of folks that have been asking about, you know, being able to hear the game uh, from visitors, you know, when we're hosting. Um, there's also a lot of times where folks want to know how they can listen to the games and everything if they're not doing the YouTube or if they're not you know locally and so um, I mentioned uh, earlier today at the district office meeting I had that um, there's a very good chance that uh, uh, I'm kind of kind of get the cat out of the bag Go but right uh, gonna be working really really hard to stream the radio station 24 7 mm -hmm. so that way it won't just be for sports you know, you'll be able to pull it up on your phone you can pull it up on a laptop you know whatever it is in that perspective but then that way you're going to let the visitors be able to hear it. You're going to be able to hear the music if you're, you know, at work or something like that, you know, and, and you need to pull it up online because you don't have a radio. Because I know, you know, a lot of folks don't have radios hanging out around the house. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. and then having Sonny here doing the, the, the YouTube is mm -hmm. fantastic for home games. Uh, we're, we, we have learned just for doing this just now that a lot of people uh, would love to have that i know we've got a couple of sponsors that work outside the area and they don't they don't have the opportunity right, you get to hear it yeah and so uh you know i've got a couple of sponsors one in particular and i'll keep that quiet for the moment but uh you said basically tell me what we need let's make something happen oh outstanding so right. i had two people ask me tonight how to stream yeah. the game yeah, yeah and, I'll, and i'll echo that i get that all the time too it's yeah. like you guys stream no no, not yet is what I have to answer. Yeah, yeah. but you know, it's, it's, it's growth. We're working. Yeah, it's coming. In fact, uh, uh, I've already been in touch with a very, very good friend of mine who's going to help kind of lead the way and steer the boat a little bit. And of course, we got our IT guy, Sean, who's amazing at what he does. And so basically, it's just going to be picking up uh, just a little bit of equipment, putting it all together. and making it happen so uh i'm thinking when basketball season's over we're not running so darn much then we'll have that opportunity to put it together so come volleyball and football season if not before actually hopefully before uh you'll be able to catch all that great music that you're programming in 24 7 and then when we start sports it'll be right there as well so yep. that will be an outstanding addition yeah so well tony thank you so much for coming on up well, and sharing that me again guys well you know it's really important to know what's going on with the district yeah. and all of that because a lot of the behind the scenes stuff we're not necessarily getting off of osa as you know that that's that's our go-to spot and it's really really helpful having uh having you you know come on and let us know and 
Well, and then we'll be back on the road here uh, next week. So, and then I had a couple people say how it sounds great on the radios, and they're they're staff. So that was really good to hear too. So. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to let you go back Thanks and again, watch guys. the game. Thanks Have again. a good second half. Thank All you, right. Tony. Go, go Big Red. All right, well, it's always fun talking to Tony Jones. As again, he's he's the fellow that kind of got things going here. And uh, I tell you what, he's a great individual. That's for darn sure. So lots of fun, good stuff going on in the hood. Man. Well, we're getting ready to go into this here second half. It's gonna, you know, we've always said this. The third period speaks volumes. Absolutely. Um, we're going to also try to get some kind of a some kind of an update on Wireball. Um, we'll try to get that to you as well. Lancers uh, take possession at the beginning of the third period, and they get it into their front court. Bring it down into the corner, an overhead pass intended for Donahoe. And the ball, she was fouled as, as she was trying to get the ball inside. So the ball will be inbound in front of the Lancer bench. Yeah, that foul's going to go ahead and go against Vijou as yeah, well. Yeah. And so the ball will be turned over. And Coquille will take advantage of it. Luca Terro finds Vijou. Bounce pass to Kellner. Inside of Lucatero, she's going to spin and nothing but net. Beautiful feet, great shot. As the Lancers bring it into their front court, a pass brings it out onto the wing, extended left hand side. Another pass is missed and picked up by Coquille. And that's Bijou that's coming down the lane, and it's good for another two. 43 to 3 as the Lancers bring the ball into their front court. And again, that is Richardson. Knocked out of bounds on the sideline, so it'll stay the uh, Lancer ball. And uh, Richardson will be inbounding the ball right across from the Coastal Coffee broadcast booth. Lancer's in the front court with their ball. That is Martinez. Handoff from Donahoe to Richardson. He brings it down onto the wing. A pass down below. They spin and put it up. And no good. That was Pratt. And a foul's been called. And a foul against Matty Pratt on the Lancer side of the ball. Two fouls on the Coquille side of the ball. One on South Umqua. And Lucatero inbounds the ball to Kellner. She moves it down the front court. Overhead pass. Finds Oh, the ball's moving so fast I can't keep up with it. Made it up to the Wilson at the <laughs> Willis puts it up at the low post and puts it in for two. It's 45 to three as the Lancers bring it into their front court. Down on the wing on the right hand side. And Trujillo putting the heat on. Can't get that ball inside the key. Wilson, top of the key. Brings it around. Up, oh, lost control of the ball. And a foul has been called. That'll be a foul against Trujillo. Three fouls against the Coquille side of the ball. One against the Lancers. South Umpqua in possession of the ball. And they will take Richardson to the baseline. Trying to inbound the ball. Long pass finds Wilson at the top of the key. She tries to drive forward. Puts the ball up. Out of bounds. That shot was denied by the Red Devils. And we have Trujillo coming off the court. Kellner. And Nelson checking in. Long pass finds Willis. Down to Kellner on the corner left-hand side, then back up to the top. Down into the lane finds Paint. A missed pass by Kellner is picked up by Pratt for the Lancers. They bring it all the way down, and it's stolen back by Vijou. Coquille Ball brings it back into their front court. Bijou moves off to the left-hand side, then back toward the top of the key. There is a pass to Kellner on the wing extended. Left-hand side. Cross court, back to Bijou. 
He's at the top of the key, extended and back to Kellner on the wing, left-hand side. Overhead pass, brings it to Willis, then down to Vijou on the wing, right-hand side. Back to Lucatero, down into the corner, finds Kellner. With a shot to Lucatero, was blocked by Wilson. The shot clock stops the play, and coming on to the court is number 11, Caden Stahl. And that will give Donahoe a break on the Lancer side of the ball. The ball is inbound by Richardson. Back to Wilson, back to Richardson. She brings it over the timeline for South Umpqua. Moves off to the right-hand side. Overhead pass is picked up by Wilson. She drives forward. Ball finds its way to the wing on the left-hand side. Brought it back out to the top of the key. It was slapped away, picked up by Vijou, and Coquille has possession of the ball. They bring it into their front court. Vijou gets around her opponents. Top of the key. Ball is passed out to Kellner on the left-hand side of the court. She's moving back and forth, heavily guarded. A long pass finds Vijou back on the right-hand side of the court. She brings it out, top of the key extended. Ball is slapped away, but she maintains possession. And a shot out to the right-hand side. Founds Nelson up, puts it up for two. No good. Rebound Lancers. And Wilson for South Umqua. Brings it over the timeline, moves off to the right-hand side. Down into the corner on the right-hand side. Brings it up to the wing. Double teamed. Jump ball is going to go to Coquille. And checking in is Salazar, Trujillo, and Coyle. Coming off the court is Lucatero, Vijou, and Kellner. Ball is inbound by Nelson. Picked up by Willis. Long pass is missed. By Coyle down in the front court to go out of bounds on the baseline and be turned over to the Lancers. No, it won't. Coquille will stay in possession of the ball. Salazar inbounding the ball. Long pass picked up by Trujillo. Coyle then back out to the top of the key finds Salazar. Pick a set for her. She moves around and a pass to Nelson over to the left-hand side of the court. She's heavily guarded, and the pass is slapped by Wilson, but picked back up by Salazar. Coyle on the wing, right-hand side, back out to Nelson. She drives forward, bounce pass, hits the paint, picked up by Salazar. She spins, brings it back out. Willis from the lane line, two points goes up. Coquille with a score of 47 as the ball goes into the hands of the Lancers. And that's Wilson bringing it over the timeline, moving it off to the right-hand side. And bringing it down to the wing. Well, the shot goes out of bounds. And checking back onto the court will be Donahoe. That will give a breather for Caden Stahl. Coquille will be taking possession in their back court from the sideline. The ball goes to Salazar. Salazar bringing it over the timeline and off to the right hand side of the court. Overhead pass finds Willis at the top of the key extended. Finds Coyle down on the right-hand side with Nelson that comes up to give a little help in hand. This little give and go from Willis back over to Salazar. And Salazar is going to get fouled. This is going to be interesting. She was kind of getting ready to shoot, but I don't think they're going to give her the shot. They might, though. They will give it to her. Hopefully. Nope, they're going to pull her in under the basket. And checking in is number three, Alyssa Brown. That'll give a breather to Maddie Pratt on the Lancer side of the ball. Quick inbound pass to Willis. Beautifully done and a quick two points. Ball is inbound. There is Richardson. Off to the right-hand side of the court. Down the sideline. She runs into Coquille and the ball comes back out. Wilson. Richardson gets to the low post. Ball is slapped by Nelson. But they maintain control. The ball went up for a shot and she drew a foul. So that will take number three, Alyssa Wilson, to the foul line. Four fouls on the Coquille side of the ball, only two on the Lancer side of the ball. 235 left in the third period with a score of 49 to 3. Red Devils on top. Here's the shot from the foul line for the Lancers. Hits the back of the bucket. No good. Gets a little support from her teammate. And checking into the court is number 11, Kate Stahl. That will take Martinez off the court. Here's the second shot for the Lancers from the foul line. Ball is up. 
Hits the front of the bucket, no good, and Coyle with the rebound for Coquille. I don't think too many people are going to take that ball away from Coyle. She is a tough girl. Yes, she is. So there's Salazar to Nelson. Back to Coyle, who's going to find Trujillo. Down to Salazar. Salazar, Trujillo, cousins. Yeah, it's great to see them playing together down there on the field. On the field, I see. On the field? Yeah. yeah. Well, now you know. <laughs> Football is a long ways away, brother. Now the Super Bowl's coming, baby. Oh, well, that is, yeah. <laughs> so there's Nelson. She wants to drive. They're just going to roll it around. Three seconds, two seconds on the clock. And oh. can you believe it? They got caught on the shot clock. Shot clock violation. Good defense, though, by South Umqua. You bet. But uh, the ladies just got stuck. Hey. So Wilson inbound to Danica Richardson, and she'll bring the ball over the timeline, moves off to the left-hand side, and the ball goes down into the corner. They come up for the shot. The shot's no good, but she did draw a foul. That was Kate Stahl for the South Umpqua Lancers. That'll put her on the foul line. That was against Coyle again, too. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, Coyle has really taken her lumps for the team. He really has. Uh, but she got her nose broken. I know, bless her heart. She's down there playing with a broken nose now. So the first shot for the Lancers goes up, and it's good. Brings them up to a score of four with 149 left in the third. Here's the second shot from the foul line for South Umqua. Balls up and rolls around the bucket a bit, but comes back down. She gets her own rebound, but Nelson puts the heat on her. Nelson just ripped it. Went out of bounds. <laughs> Coyle had her hand on it, too. Yeah. Nelson comes in and just ripped it. Give me that thing. <laughs> so the Lancers will be inbounding the ball from underneath their bucket. There's a bounce pass that went off the hands of one of the Lancers and back into the hands of Coquille. And that's Trujillo. She's going to bring it on down court. Going back and forth, left to right, to find Salazar. Willis comes up top to help things out a little bit. And Nelson... Coyle. They're just rolling this ball around as much as possible. Try to work that clock down as much as possible without getting caught up on it. Here's Willis. She's going to look for somebody inside. Nelson's going to find Trujillo. They're going to be on the clock again. There's a shot at the buzzer. They're saying no shot. She shot during the buzzer, so... Lancers are inbound. Danica Richardson in the backcourt. It's not hurting Coquille, though, at all, really, by doing that. And they're Ab just kind of running the clock down. Absolutely not. The shot's up for the Lancers. It puts two, brings them up to a score of six. As third period winds down. Coquille headed for the baseline to inbound the ball. 45 seconds left in the period as it comes in through Helio. So Trujillo almost gets it snagged away there. She picks it back up, crosses the timeline. Gets it to Willis. They're just going to roll it around the top part of the key. They're going to work it in here to Salazar. She spins and puts it up. No good. It's followed by Willis, though. She tags it in there. And Richardson over the timeline, moves off to the left-hand side, stops shy of the wing. Overhead pass is knocked away and picked up by Coquille. Seven seconds left in the period. And that's Willis bringing it down. As we know, she's not much of a ball hander, but did a great job doing it. Beautiful pass out and about, but three-point shot by Trujillo is no good. And that's the end of the third period, ladies and gentlemen, with the score. Coquille Red Devils at 51. And the South Umpqua Lancers at 6. And, of course, on that particular uh, run here by the Lady Red Devils, they picked up 12 points in the third and kept South Umpqua to only three. I did check on Miss Wirebaugh. And? She did roll her ankle. Uh, um, her foot got stepped on, and she tried to move, so it did get rolled. She is not going to come back out on the court. There's no reason for her to injure it more than it is. That's right. Now, I did find out during halftime, though, she was walking around. So, she's okay. Right. It's just tender. Bless her heart. So, she... Uh, she uh, will not be out here. Hot foot bath with Epsom salt is good for that. There you go. So we got a little bit of a change of the guard, actually, or quite a bit, if you will. We got the Salazar sisters are out here, Alicia and Cynthia. 
You got Nelson. That's still out there. You've got Allen. And you've got Johnson. Okay, Johnson, Ashland, Allen, as we say it. It's the beginning of the fourth period. Again, the score 51-6. to six. Red Devils on top as the Lancers to take possession of the ball. Maddie Pratt inbounding to Danica Richardson as she brings it over the timeline. Double teamed and gets that ball out to the wing on the left-hand side. The ball drives it, put it up, who draws a foul? That is Kenzie Martinez. And that foul is going to go against Nelson. She wanted to slap that ball so bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. So there's the ball from the official, and there's a short warm-up from the foul line. Here's the shot for the Lancers. And the ball is up. That's Martinez into the bucket and back out, unfortunately. I'm very excited about the district change Yes, with me the too. schools. That's really, really something. Me too. Well, you know, six schools and three opportunities to go to state is phenomenal. Yep. I thought it was only two. So that's that's great. Second shot for the Lancers was no good, and the ball will go to the Red Devils. There's that inbound pass to Allen. Gets it quickly to Salazar, puts it up, and it's good. And Richardson for the Lancers brings it over the timeline and pass to Donahoe on the wing. Then a pass back out to Wilson, top of the key as she moves left on the wing. Double teamed by the Red Devils. And out of bounds. Oh, they call timeout. That was Maddie Pratt. So they called the timeout just before the ball was hit that sideline there. It's it's great to see the Salazar sisters and their cousin, uh, yeah, Lexi Trujillo down there, you know. And I'm, I've thought about it, you know, when they get to be our age and they look back and talk about playing basketball together. Right. What a great memory this will be for them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and it's almost like okay, it's Cynthia Salazar, it's Izzy Trujillo, and uh, Alicia Salazar. All three of them, sisters and cousins. Yeah, that's a great. That is so cool. Beautiful thing. And then, of course, we got um, Ashlyn Allen and Oakley Johnson on the court. So when you've got Johnson, Salazar, and Allen, those three young ladies, they play uh, JV, and then they also are part of the varsity squad. The band is rocking a little Billy Jean. Yeah, they are. They're over there just ripping I, it. I bet there's people in this audience that aren't old enough to know the song. <laughs> <laughs> That's great stuff. I they really that. do have a good band. They do, man. Yeah. They're sounding good. And, of course, the teacher's over there playing the bass. Yeah, he's awesome, too. It is just a fun time. All right, so the Lancers are inbounding the ball. Overhead pass is picked up and a bounce pass down onto the lane line. Left-hand side back to Danica Richardson. Ball goes up for two. 53-8 as the Coquille Red Devils take the ball. And here comes Allen bringing it all the way down. Looks like she, no, I thought she found a lane to take it. Ball rolls around back up to Allen. Almost lost possession of it there. It's a good recovery. Find Salazar on the right-hand side. Back up top to her sister, Salazar. Pass was intended. Got taken away. Stolen by Danica Richardson, and she loses it at the baseline. Wasn't unable to make the layup. And so the ball will be turned over to Coke Hill. 535 left in the fourth period. So... Lady Red Devils are having a hard time grabbing it to come down court. Slapped out of bounds by South Umpqua. That was Allen trying to bring it on down court. Now we're going to have Nelson inbound. You've got Salazar and Salazar and Allen. And you find Salazar to bring it down court. Over to Allen on the side. She's going to swing in. She's got an open lane, switches hands, puts it up. It's no good, but it's a great attempt. Yeah. And we're going to have a jump ball. And Thanks to Allen underneath there, trying to get that rebound. Possession goes to South Umco. 
And Richardson inbounding to Wilson. Back to Richardson. And she moves off with a shot down into the left corner. They drive of too strong over the basket. And I think there's going to be a foul. And it's going to go against South Elmqua. The foul will be on Salazar. Alicia. And that puts Nelson on the baseline inbounding for Coquia. Salazar bringing the ball down. They're going to run as much time as they can. There's, oh, there's four minutes left, so you still got half a period. Nice <laughs> give and go to Salazar up, and it's good. <laughs> Great pass by Allen with that give and go. And now the Lancers have the ball in their front court, and there's a pass to Martinez. That'll be a foul They're against foul. Allen. Yeah. You know, the thing of it is, these ladies, it's not like they don't play. They, they play for JV. They practice with JV. They practice also with the varsity squad. And it's great to see them have the opportunity to come out here on the court and, uh, and get their feet wet in some varsity play. And they do very well. Look at that inbound pass stolen by Allen. Yep. And now you have a jump ball. It's going to go into the hands of Coquille. Great job by Allen. Absolutely. Nelson inbounds. To Allen. She's usually going to be our ball hander, bringing it on down court. Heavily guarded. Remains in control. Finds Salazar on the left. Nelson. I thought was going to take a three-pointer. <laughs> That's Johnson. Tried to get stolen away. Bounce pass. And it was intended for Salazar. But it went off the hands, I believe, of Salazar last as it rolled out of bounds. Oh, so that's going to stay uh, with South the Lancers. Okay. So we have Wilson on the sideline in front of the Lancer bench. South Umqua ball is inbound, picked up by Martinez. She's on the wing, right-hand side. Ball is picked up, stolen away by Salazar, and rolling down, out of bounds. Nice job there by Salazar. If she could have got around the official, she would have had that. You bet. Had a wide open off lane. To the races. High inbound pass is picked up. Richardson brings it over the timeline. Down the left-hand side. Taking it all the way downtown. Put the shot up. Drew a foul. Shot was no good. Well, I thought they would call a charge there, but they didn't. They're going to call a foul on on Nelson. Pushing foul on Nelson. Oh, no, excuse me. Excuse me. It's going to go against Allen. I thought she was already set. First shot for the Lancers goes up, hits the rim, comes back down no good. Minute 37 left in the game. From the foul line, Danica Richardson. Here's the shot. It's up and good. And that brings South Umqua up to a score of nine. Ball is inbound for Coquille. It's going to be Salazar bringing that on. Finds Nelson back up top. Minute and 12 left in the game. It's Johnson over there. Pulls Allen back up. Nice little pass to Salazar as they work it around the top part of the key. It's Nelson coming around the right-hand side. Got to give it back up to Johnson. They're going to kick it back up and around as much as possible. We got six seconds on the shot clock. Picked up by Johnson. She tries to put it up, but it goes out of bounds. Clock's just going to continue to run. 40 seconds left in the game. Inbound ball to Lancers. And there's Richardson bringing it into the front court. Overhead pass. Brings it down to the lane line. A handoff to Richardson. Puts the ball up for two. 20 seconds left. Coquille ball. There's our inbound pass. Going to go to Allen. She'll bring it across the timeline. She's looking for a lane. Passes to Johnson who puts it up. Gets knocked out of bounds. That's pretty much going to rock it for the rest of the game. As your post-game report will be brought to you by the city of Coquille with a final score. Coquille 55. South Elmqua, 11.
for your update. The Lady Red Devils just smoked on the first first period. Just smoked it as they had 29 points to South Empire zero. Then they came in and kept South Empire only three points in the second. Scored 10 points themselves. And then of course coming out of halftime in the third period. South Empire scores three additional points for a total of six. Twelve points scored by Coquille. So going into the fourth, it was a 51 to six. And then here in the final period, you had five additional points scored by South Umpqua and four by Coquille. Now you might say, well, what happened to Coquille? They only scored four points. Well, let me tell you what happened to Coquille. <laughs> they went ahead and basically just ran the clock. Uh, they went and played for, you know, a, a pretty solid couple of minutes, and then they just kind of sat back a little bit more. Uh, they didn't have to continue to run points up on the board. They were so far ahead already. And that's just respecting the other team you as bet. well. You bet. So uh, the shot clock played um, a little bit of havoc on them, but it really wasn't because they were just running it down anyway. So you bet. And they just let the shot clock run. So, uh, But anyway, just a fantastic showing by the Lady Red Devils. And I also want to say for these ladies, uh, Salazar, Allen, and Johnson, Coming off the bench, uh, you know, swinging between JV and varsity, them young ladies can play some ball. They can. They did an excellent job out on the court. Once again, we're seeing some good stuff. Who did you have, Dan, for Athlete of the Game? Brought to you by Alamie Schroeder uh, Funeral Service. Well, I, 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 Taylor Kellner, for her hard work and her, uh, her incredible three-point shots, uh, also with her, her backing up uh, Viju, uh, and that's why I, I – uh, chose also uh, Izzy Trujillo uh, because of, of her assist. Uh, you know, just because you don't make the basket doesn't mean you're not partly responsible for that score. Absolutely. And, and the assist uh, that Trujillo had put out on the court tonight uh, to put numbers on the board, uh, I want to give her uh, consideration for Athlete of the Week as well. Absolutely. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, once again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so very much for tuning in with us. Uh, again, Athlete of the Game brought to you by Emily Schroeder Funeral Service. For the fellas, it was Mr. Hoyle and Mr. Luckman. For the ladies, it was Miss Kellner and Miss Trujillo. So, congratulations to them. Now, we're going to be back on the road. Uh, what is it going to be? Tuesday. So we'll be back on the road Tuesday. We're going to be going to Douglas, and uh, that should be another heck of a good ball game. So um, uh, we hope that you'll be able to tune in as the, well, let's see, our tip-off is going to be at 530, and that's going to be with the boys, and then the girls will be playing right after at 7. And then we'll be back next Friday night here, and that's going to be against Clyde. That'll be another great game with a tip-off of 5.30. So uh, we'll be broadcasting uh, right here from the Coaster Coffee broadcast booth. And uh, we want to say thank you very much. As our pregame report brought to you by the city of Coquille, we'll kick off right about 5.15, 5.20. And... Uh, yeah, we just want to thank you so very much for tuning in. We hope that y'all have a very safe, wonderful weekend. Until then, good night, everybody.